Alrighty, let me know if anyone's here and if you can hear me. Hello, Coffee Dude. Thank you for the Tier 2 resub, 41 months. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hello, Willie. Hello, Sellison. Kai or Augmented, Mooksy, Fakey, Computerless Citizen, Transcending Gauss, Salty Marcaroni, Hoif, Skiui, Linux, Third World Weeb, it's me, your dog. Dr. Sabugo, Box Tofu, Jess Long, Bleak Werewolf. Sanctus Even, Galactic Anthropologist, Evolved, Sendar, Omega Boost, Siphonia, Mothman, Mihawk, Danky Brain, Tired Sloth, Regular Map, the 99th, Phoenix Link, the 1st, Grand Moth Barkin, Light 176. I don't think I can give you 13 likes, I'm sorry. I don't even, I don't even have an Instagram, how am I supposed to like shit? Hello, most creative name, Apple for Apples. McGhosterson, Valkyries, Walk and Talk and Robot, Avil. What's going on, fellas? I hope those cocks are well. I uh, I woke up today and I let Banjo outside and he went he went poop. And then I, I brought him back into my room and he had to go again and he got shit all over my fucking room and I spent 45 minutes cleaning it out of the carpet. So that is that is how my day has started. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the game will be good. Hoping for a good one tonight. Hello, Die Grim Die, Duckworth, Bruce Ironstaunch, Largos, Rumble, Shoe Riskum, Gumjar, Turn AP. I thank you, Mammoth 321, for the 49 months. Been a while since I could catch a stream. Baby, Tolomite turns one next month. Time fucking flies, huh? Hopefully the parent journey has been good for you. Hello, Golden Plato, Gray Sketch, Lit Rock, Default Winer. Should have let him eat it to clean it up. No, because you still got to get it out of the carpet and shit. That's the hard part. Uh, hello, Charizard. I put him away because I didn't want him to, like, step in it or eat it or make it worse. And when it was time to let him out, from the crate that I had put him in, he got our blanket, our nice, big, fluffy blanket, and tore it to shreds, pulled it through the fucking crate, and devoured it and ripped all the stuffing out. So I'm, uh, I'm big on Banjo right now. Banjo stocks are are plummeting. Hello, Dionin, Hand the Banan, Artemis, Coffee Dude, thank you for gifting a sub to Golden Plato. I appreciate it. Been watching all the videos of that YouTuber, Tolomior, playing Animal Crossing. Jesus. I don't even remember much about those streams. It was kind of uh, memories foggy from that time period. Hello, Colonel Martyr, Roiland, Springy, Demigod, Just a Robot Mom, Half Talent, Glitch Wizard, Aetherius, I remember you torturing the clown thing. Yeah, and I guess some person who wanted to make, like, Animal Crossing streamer highlights put me in one as, like, uh, look at this asshole bullying Pietro, and people were mad at me in the comments. So, I'm really good at making friends. Tolo skipped me. I'm sorry. It wasn't intentional. Hello, cynical dude. I'm just, uh, I'm operating on, like, 15% right now. Hello, glitchy bug. Really hard time sleeping. Uh, maybe perhaps uh, putting me in low energy today. Pietro is an abomination. What level are you in Power World? I've still not played a single minute of Power World. Thank you for the 40 month resub, Shin Megami. I am still on that RuneScape grind. I'm going to outlast everybody I got into the game. I am in it for the long haul. Sanctus Even, uh, thank you for the 33 months. Appreciate it. Hello, Siamese Sneeze actually streaming on my day off fuck yeah well hopefully it's a good one hopefully the game is decent like three or four people had mentioned it in the suggestions channel of my discord so it seems like people like it but that also means if people are that aware of a game then they probably know of it because someone else played it and i am in like an unspoken competition against that whoever the fuck played this game so I got to make them look like a complete loser. <laughs> I have to do really good. You see, the OG RuneScape creator is making a new RuneScape game. I did. I did. It looks... I'm not sure. I'm not sold on it. But I, like, I've... So many of my, my hours have gone to RuneScape that I owe the developer a fair shot at the game, I feel. Like, I'm going to try it, but... I don't know. There's just something uh, intangible about it that I don't know if I like yet. Hello, Noodle. 
but I hope it's good. It would be really nice to have another RuneScape. Like, I think that's one of the games where there are very, very, very few imitations. Almost any genre of game, you can find similar sorts of games. Like, even Dwarf Fortress has RimWorld, you have Souls, you have Neo, Monster Hunter, God Hand. Like, there's always, like, a second wave of, of inspiration after the original except for runescape i don't think i've ever played anything quite like runescape not even remotely close so it'd be interesting to play like a kind of a new version of it i have a question about bingo games is it okay to request an old game that require an emulator it's subject to approval it depends on what it is for those like it has to be something i think will be we're setting up the emulator to tell you the truth you could try it doesn't hurt to ask um uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! game that I played last stream was really fucking fun, and that was an emulator game. Uh, I was surprised because the reviews for that game were absolute dog shit, and I, I legitimately liked it. So, you, the contrarian strikes again, I guess. Hello, Silver Millennium. Maple Story? No, Maple Story's not even close, dude. Like, Maple Story, it's similar in that it is a grindy game, but, like, the actual gameplay couldn't be further from RuneScape. It's, uh, I don't know. Maple Story is kind of like a weird Castlevania slash its own thing. I have heard of a cool emulator game. It's called Parasite Eve. Haha. Ha. Okay, I'll stop. I'm done. Good night. No nut. What is your current endeavor? I literally five minutes before logging in got the fire making requirement for Fire Maker's Curse, which I can finish and then I can do, uh, the World Wakes, I think it's called. It's like one of the big dick quests with like 7 billion requirements. So that is what I'm, I'm doing right now. A lot of the Yu-Gi-Oh! game reminds me of Unicorn Overload. Sea Shanty 2 plays on repeat in my head. It's your favorite chicken restaurant. I like Golden Chick. I don't really eat at chicken restaurants. Um, like sit-down chicken restaurants are not really a thing for me. So it's basically just relegated to fast food choices. And of the fast food choices, I like Golden Chick. Hello, Delta Wave. I like getting their spicy chicken sandwiches, $5 a pop, be a big fat fuck. Order two of those sons of bitches. And I'm good for the rest of the day, usually. I think uh, Golden Chick has helped my weight loss journey quite a bit, which is weird, citing a fast food restaurant as a, as a beneficial factor in that sort of thing. But uh, they're really good. Just need to make sure you, if you go to Golden Chick, do not get the French fries. Because part of the reason I was fat to begin with, or am fat, is because I'd order their fucking like uh, family-sized French fries. And they're some of the best fries I've ever had. But they, sometimes, even if you don't look at like the nutritional information, you put something in your mouth and you can tell it's going to kill you. Like, it, you're poisoning yourself. And those fries are kind of like that. But they're so good, dude. Like, Cane's sauce more and more every time I try. Yeah, Cane's sauce is pretty good. But Cane's is far away. Cane's line is long as shit. And Cane's is expensive. So, that is uh, that is my thing with Cane's. What does this title mean? It's literally the name of the game. It is a, a highly requested RPG maker indie game called Swollen to Bursting Until I Am Disappearing on Purpose. I have no idea what the fuck that means. I can I can speculate that it has something to do with killing oneself, maybe. But I don't really know. They're building like five canes over here. It's weird. That's one hell of a title. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of the milk inside of a bag inside of a milk. Or inside of a bag, not inside of a milk. Excuse me. Me after KFC. I The only thing I've ever liked from KFC was the Double Down. The Double Down was... Uh, I missed that. And I immediately, like... I tried this shit, I think, last year. The Double Down sandwich. And I really enjoyed it. And I have to admit, the reason that I got it to begin with is because I was watching a lot of King Cobra JFC videos... And he was, like, absolutely devastated that he could not get a double down. There was I watched a video of his where I swear to God, he said the words double down at least 30 separate times. And I got influenced by Cobra to go and try that fucking thing. This is pretty good. I understand why he was upset. It, it was delicious, but in a gross way. 
They really rocked him? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Hello, Reshiram. Hello, little poppy. It's a game about becoming an inflation hermit living in Weed, California. I, I don't know. It looks kind of like a bizarre cross of Lisa and Petscop looking at the screenshots. There's one area in particular that you can tell is straight up rip from Petscop. Or inspired, if you want to use that word. KFC used to have this honey barbecue pulled chicken sandwich that was cheap and delicious. It sounds good, but I, I wasn't getting too much fast food 25 years ago. I was like six years old. So you have to sit down and play a bingo card. Well, if you do, you get to suggest me games like Yu-Gi-Oh. The Yu-Gi-Oh game we played last time was a bizarre mixture of turn-based JRPG combat and RTS gameplay. And it was really like weirdly compelling. It's definitely something that's more than the sum of its parts it did not look that good the introductory paragraphs you had to read were very boring but it was it was fun what game was that god i see i i hadn't heard of it either until it was suggested on bingo it was the false bound kingdom kfc was the shit when i had the one dollar chicken snacker then they took it away and replaced it with the Bastard Child Chicken Little, which is a poor imitation for five times the price. I'm just a very inspired artist. Well, there's nothing wrong with taking inspiration, but like this area, it legitimately looks exactly like the uh, the dark field of grass from Petscop. I can't quite remember the, the name of it, but it, you can tell it is meant to be evocative of that. Hello, Zero TB. So, uh, last night was interesting. Last night, as you may have noticed, so most of you probably didn't, but I wasn't streaming last night. And that's because I, I was meeting a viewer in real life, if you can believe it. Someone wanted to see little old me. And I went out into the, uh, I went out into the world and I met Cooler Matt. And I was like, imagine my disappointment when they did not show up in a wheelchair. I was so, like, I was expecting either, like, Joe was going to be there or he was going to roll up in the wheelchair. And neither of the opportunities were seized upon. And I have to admit, I was a little bit disappointed, but he's a really nice dude in real life. It was a good fucking time. I think we, we spent, like, six hours in the restaurant and they were, like, begging us to leave and offering us free drinks and shit. Because we were staying at the table a little too long. So, it was a good time. I would have just walked away. That's fair. Convince him to be in one for Tolocon. I think that you need to be... Everyone needs to be in a wheelchair for Tolomeocon. Like, what's the point of having it if it's not like this wheelchair bowl? Who knew a wheelchair emote would lead to a brotherhood? Yeah, life works in mysterious ways. It's definitely interesting. This entire stream, the reason this exists is because some random on League of Legends sent me a friend request and wanted to play bot lane with me. Um, and I thought he was an idiot at first, but then I talked to him more and I realized he was the exact opposite. And we became good friends, still talk to this day. And uh, he, he got me to play Bloodborne BL4 and now uh, Brain Sucker Kill is a thing. I'm gonna leave Tolokan in a wheelchair after the breeding pits. Google Mass Wheelchair Rental. Hello, Caramel and Mocha. Hello, Midnight Note. I can't wait for my kneecaps to get broken at Tolocon. I don't think that would happen. Who do you think would break someone's kneecaps at Tolomeocon? You think this place is full of uh, aggressive people who would do harm to one another? Okay, no offense to both Golden Plato and Silver Millennium, but you could not break kneecaps. Like, I'm sorry. I, I believe Mothman could. But you two, I don't know, dude. I don't, I don't think I would be particularly worried. Hello, Adastar. Cooler Matt, he's the wheelchair guy. Uh, thank you, Midnight Note, for the 49 months. I appreciate it. Thank you. I have Jaws of Steel. So you're going to bite people's knees. That's. Are you like a fucking dog? Like, what's your problem? What about a Rouge Maz? I've never thought about Maz's color. Maybe he'd be a red guard if he was Rouge. Hello, Joel Jutsu. I'll ram into y'all with a wheelchair. How is that going to break someone's kneecaps if everyone's in a wheelchair? Will there be a Whataburger stand at Tolocon? I hope so. 
I need to get Whataburger tonight. I'm hungry. Uh, I finished the leftovers from last night's dinner last night. And good God. We had these tiger prawns that were so fucking good. <laughs> I've never had tiger prawns before. And I, I think I'm a, a little in love with them. Hello, Triple Y Operation 5. Hello, Torpal. What's up, dude? I think this chat would like it. What, being... Having their knees broken by, by like a two foot four midget trying to bite them. Jenna seems like the most likely one to mimic Tanya Harding. I don't know who that is, but I think Jenna's dead. I haven't seen Jenna in a while. Please tell me if Cooler Matt. He did. He told me like, he told us like, look, I don't care what you do. Order what you want, but whatever you order, do not touch it. Until I take a picture of it, or I'm gonna get that wheelchair and I'm gonna run your ass over. It was pretty intimidating, so I, you know, of course we acquiesced. <laughs> he, he does, in fact, take pictures of everything. It's pretty funny. Made delicious braised pork belly for dinner, but we had dinner too early, so I've ordered pizza like a fat fuck. Is that the place he posted the menu of? Yes, I believe so. Ice skater who was allegedly part of a scheme to break another skater's legs so she couldn't compete. I've never heard of that in my life. Like, I thought maybe it was a reference to that woman who dove into the concrete and broke her back at TwitchCon. But uh, it wasn't. I wasn't even fucking close. Not even a little bit. Not even in the same neighborhood. Based in Instagram pill. How are you, Misa? Are your migraines feeling better? I can't imagine. I used to get, like... Sometimes back in the day when I would do like a particularly long stream, I would get a migraine at the end. I remember Hollow Knight was really bad for that. I think the worst one I ever had was like after uh, fighting the Nightmare King Grim or whatever the fuck in Hollow Knight years and years and years ago. And I never knew what caused it. It would just happen sometimes. I'd get like nauseous. My head would hurt. I didn't really recognize it as a migraine at the time, but... When people started talking about how migraines make you nauseous and like you need to throw up. Um, it was like a minor one. I don't think it's as bad as, you know, Misa's. But it would make me want to just sit in a dark room like a fucking golem for an hour. And after I got that one tooth pulled uh, last year, it's, it hasn't happened since. Like it just doesn't happen anymore. So I guess like one fucked up tooth that didn't hurt actively. Like it wasn't in pain was the cause of that particular ailment. Did you get the ocular aura? I'm not certain what that is. Hello, Ron M.U. Ignoring homework and refusing to eat my vegetables. So, okay, you know, here's a riddle. Can a cannibal be a vegetarian? Is that a thing? Like, you could break the rules. If you were a cannibal that exclusively ate people in a vegetative state, then you'd be eating vegetables and you would be a meat eater that is a vegetarian, right? That'd be pretty fucking cool. You could, you could break the rules and you could really fucking throw people for a loop when you tell them that you're a vegetarian and <laughs> you start eating their, their relatives in hospice. Ocular Aura is the third boss in Final Fantasy 16. I don't think I had anything like that. Temporarily, partially blind? No, no. Nothing like that. Every cow is vegetative at the time of production. I guess maybe, but... They could also toss that salad. You have to eat the wheelchair, too. I mean, is it a flavored wheelchair? Sounds like a storyline from the two-sentence horror subreddit. Whenever I eat pizza crust, I feel immense pressure pool up in my forehead it can't tell if it's because of a headache or jaw issue or something did he show the food pics no i don't i don't uh i guess i could you did send me them huh yes uh i guess i should i wasn't sure if that was something you were you were wanting me to do but uh yeah it was uh let me get them let me scroll up <laughs> the amount of shit hold on hold on why food picks? What happened? Well, well, Cooler Matt treated me and Autumn to a very nice dinner uh, last night. And we, um, the entire time we only talked about Joe. It was a thrilling conversation. We talked about Joe and Misa and the similarities. And whether, who, if Misa was Joe pilled or if Joe was Misa pilled. 
and it was very, very enlightening. I swear to God, you better not. Cooler Matt is texting. Well, he flies around, and he was in the neighborhood, so we met up. Joe Biden? No, no, like Desperado Joe. Sounds really cool, six hours worth. Yeah. You know, I was thinking, like, um, did he touch any knees, legs underneath the table? I, I don't think so. He didn't touch mine. Sounds like a fun time. Did you discuss who would win in a boxing match between... Yeah, yeah, we... You know, we, we have a plot to take down Boogie, so we were deciding whether or not to champion Joe or Misa to be, like, the ultimate uh, weapon against Boogie, which I've heard he said yet again more stupid shit that has landed him in, in trouble. Uh, what a surprise. Boogie saying dumb shit. Nobody could have seen this coming. All right, so these were the prawns, the tiger prawns, dude. This was... Probably my favorite thing we had. They were really fucking good. Um, he went back in time to 2010. Sorry, I have to scroll down to get to these pictures. So it's going to be a minute. He got a uh, an octopus tentacle. I had reservations trying it. I did. But, you know, with octopus, they're really smart. So I, th I was thinking about, like, the moral quandary of whether or not it was okay to eat something potentially more intelligent than I am. But it tasted, it, it kind of had almost like a steak texture in some places. I know that probably sounds nonsensical. Was it tough at all? It was a little chewy, but in a good way. Um, this, these were scallops. I didn't really like scallops. Like I, I thought maybe, because I, I always talk about seafood and how I like any type of fish yada 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 also what's good recon how are you dude but i do not like bivalves i do not like scallops i do not like clams i do not like oysters but i tried one and it was the best scallop i've ever had but i still don't really like it that much but it wasn't bad it's just i would have almost anything else over it want to try faux foie gras i don't know how to pronounce that sorry i'm i'm a. Uh... I'm part of the 99%. That was a fancy restaurant because there's plating and 30% of the food. This was the uh, the tomahawk ribeye. This was pretty fucking good. Only three tiddly scallops. Um, and Autumn got uh, bah, 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 the fucking... Some, it, it was Spinalis Wagyu. So... Yeah, it was it was pretty good. I had some. Ow, my neck. She got a slab. You put out after this fancy ass meal. Well, I told him that you know if he needs me to if he needs me to ban Misa, you know, the bribe has been sufficient. <laughs> if, I, if he wants me to make Misa disappear, then I'll I'll do it. Spinalis sounds like a monster hunter monster. It does a little bit. Figure the octopus is already dead, so eating what is served is not going to cause additional harm. Yeah, yeah. If you put something on my plate, I'll eat it. I also got, like, schnockered. I had, like, five fucking drinks, too. So, I, I got home, and I immediately, like... I tried to play RuneScape for, like, 20 minutes, and then I took a nap. Speaking of cool Texans, I got a type. Turns out it's random fat dudes who wear a wife beater and a cowboy hat. Who in your chat looks like that? I'm curious. A random fat dude cowboy hat. What does Cooler Matt drink? He didn't have any alcoholic beverages. I was the only one. I was imposing my, my drunkenness on everyone else like a responsible adult. I thank you, Katzel, for the 82-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I was the only one who partook in alcohol. I think he drank... No, no, no. I had a... God, I had a lot of shit. Only drinks pre-workout. But I also drank so much, too. I'm glad I finally have a witness, because I talk about how I drink in an absolutely absurd amount of fluid. And now I have someone who can vouch that I had my alcohol, I had my water, and I had my tea. And I was drinking, like, they were refilling all of those uh, constantly. And I had to piss, like, five times, and I would, it still wouldn't be enough, and I'd have to steal Autumn's water. Because <laughs> I just drink a disgusting amount of fluid in general so there's a witness now it's only two of us closing up because one girl called in and let the other left early due to a migraine 
was the other girl, Misa Coco. Did Tola wear the Hawaiian shirt? I don't think they would have let me in if I had a Hawaiian shirt. I, um, I had to at least pretend that I had real clothes. Your body absorbing anything? Well, no, that's the thing. Like, that's... This is one of the cases where you can tell who actually listens and who uses me as background noise. Does this sound like Diet Coke? I talk all the time about how I drink more unsweetened tea than Diet Coke. Like, don't get me wrong. I do drink a lot of Diet Coke, but I have both. Like, I have my, my Diet Coke right here, and I have my, my iced tea in a big old fucking cup. And I don't mix them, but I drink both at the same time, and I'm... I'm wonderfully hydrated all of the time. I never have hangovers, even today. Do you buy tea or you make your own? I buy the tea bags and I make a big old fucking pitcher with like 16 tea bags. Morning crew left so much work for us. We are going to be leaving late trying to catch up. This has one of those novelty drink hats. No, dude, those... I hate hats. I can't wear them. They give me headaches. Any type of hat, a beanie a baseball cap like I have this thing where I cannot have shit on my head it just doesn't fucking I can't I'm freaking starving if I can make it I'm getting a little Caesar's pizza I don't care if I feel like shit after eating it that's what's up is it regular it's regular I don't sweeten my tea at all ever no honey no milk no no sugar no artificial sweeteners I like that shit bitter and strong Got me thinking I should make a giant-ass pitcher of iced tea and play RuneScape all day tomorrow. That sounds like a good fucking day to me. My head is too big. No hat has ever fit. Even those one-size-fits-all. So, like, uh, when we when we were looking at the menu for this place that we went last night, the dress code said that basically the only hats that were allowed were cowboy hats. So, JFC, if you need to find, like a like, a mildly fat guy in a cowboy hat, then I guess I do know a place. I thought that was really bizarre. Like, cowboy hats are, are okay, but most other types of headwear were verboten. I would, but I work with dogs and don't want to leave them with dirty rooms and shit. Yeah. Yeah, those, those doggy daycare, doggy grooming places, I'm of the opinion that they exploit people's love for the animals to make them work harder and do, like, unacceptable shifts. And things like that. And they expect you to do it because they know a lot of the people who are going to want to work with the animals uh, care about the animals and they take advantage of that. So it's, uh, it, you get to, you get to play with dogs all day, but then the management fucks you over too. Cooler Matt wore jeans. Yeah, I wasn't sure what to expect because uh, I know you like your fancy shoes. I did notice you had, you had some of those. Um, Autumn was freaking out. Because she's like, how are we going to know who to look for? Are we going to be put on the spot? I'm like, okay, I'm pretty sure he has a mustache. And I know he likes uh, he likes his fancy shoes. So just look at people's shoes and I think we'll find him pretty quick. <laughs> so uh, you should have showed up in a wave cap. I, I wanted, like, if there wasn't a dress code, I probably would have worn one of my Share Zone t-shirts where it's like, offended, buckle up, bitch, I'm about to apologize. Uh, that's my kind of shirt. That's what I like wearing. Wonder how he recognizes. I'm telling you, you, you are distinct. I don't think it's that easy to recognize me, but you are... And, and plus, I think we probably stood out like sore thumbs. Uh, <laughs> it was kind of a nice place. So, like, two weird fucking, you know, young people who look nervous about being and being somewhere. It's pretty easy, I would imagine. Hello, doggo. What are those kinds of shirts called? Graphic t-shirts. Sister worked at an animal shelter and management kept screwing her over till she quit. Whoever asked me why I'm green now, I miss using... A my rat badge, it cost me many hours of washing dishes and getting my crotch fondled in a restaurant, and green mixes well with brown. What? What the hell are you talking about? I hope you didn't actually get fondled in a restaurant. I still want the shit on your girlfriend, not on your workout hoodie. I could see Cooler Matt wearing that. That <laughs> seems like it would, it would be a good fit. Um, God, I had something I needed to say. Right, right. Maybe 
I don't know. Like, there are pictures of me on the internet, but I don't exactly feel like most people have a solid idea of what I look like. So the fact that we got recognized at that near concert a couple months ago was really strange to me, too. Maybe, uh... Maybe I, I do look quite weird. I got raped there a lot. I used to joke that I would switch to making pizzas because they gave free dick massages there. What the fuck? I See, I don't know if you're being serious with me or not. Everyone knows that you were a big talking Samoyed. I'm not. I'm not. I wish I was. That would be pretty cool. But I probably wouldn't want to uh like i don't know if i would like it if sif was capable of speech i don't know if that would be great i don't imagine she would have anything worthwhile to say to me you'd probably be like, food food feed me feed me i'm hungry <laughs> that would be about it right very iconic face without the furry costume yeah i mean if I showed up in the rat mask, I would get it. Giant rat head is a dead giveaway. I would probably be a backseater. I remember one time I was going home from Whataburger and probably my worst Whataburger adventure of all time. And Sif started like frantically barking and I wasn't sure what was going on with her. And she decided midway through that she needed to shit on the, on the seat. And, oh man. <laughs> Oh my god. So I make sure that she's outside for a couple minutes so she can have an opportunity to evacuate everything because she gets so excited for car rides that she doesn't care about going outside. She gets hyped. She'll start like Ooh! making these fucked up noises of excitement. So I gotta I gotta go out back with her and stay there so she calms down a little bit and you know, especially now that she's getting a little bit older. Hello, Kilogen. Hello, Poe. Make a big talking Samoyed VTuber? No, I'm not really into the VTuber thing. It's not my scene. If there was a Sith VTuber, there's no way some Twitter user wouldn't get weird about it. I mean... If you're... You're right, but you can't sit there and worry about people getting weird with things on the internet too much because they're gonna get weird no matter what even like think about the wonder bread guy what was wonder bread doing to provoke that guy in a sexual manner literally nothing people will you, you get cursed sometimes with like the most deviant fucking people imaginable and there's not really it's not really affected by what you do for the most part the Wonder Bread was dressing like a slut. See, I just don't really believe that that's the case. I, I think the Wonder Bread was just minding their own business. You talked about the guy you blocked? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the reason I did that is because it, if you, I feel like if you made a VTuber thing... Now, this is not meant to be like a mean a meanie comment or like a slight towards VTuber kind. I swear, Scout's Honor... Thank you, Tally Tenenbaum, for the 58-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. But we can all admit that, like, to a certain extent, like, the VTuber stuff attracts a certain kind of person sometimes. So, you, if you... It would be like sticking your dick in the oven and complaining that you get burned if you made, like, a VTuber avatar and got weird about people being weird about it. The reason the thing on... I blocked that person on Twitter is I was just posting just straight up pictures of my dog. And they were they were there to take pictures of that. Hello, kid pro quo. Certain type? Yes. Yes. Like, very horny people. Like, cool 109 love, you know? I like cool, but I could see cool going absolutely ape, ape shit for VTubers. He loves those titties. This is the man who played RuneScape and ended up not playing it because he got brain locked trying to measure the cup size of the titties on the RuneScape character model. <laughs> it's just... It, they're out there. Uh, thank you, Zeris, for the 17-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Cool and actual freak. Yeah, he's... um, Cool's interesting because I get the impression that he's like more thoughtful and deep than he gives credit for but almost all of his brain power is going to like weird sex shit always so it's like 
a, a goddamn great wall of miasma getting to anything uh, beneath the surface. No, I'm with you, Torpal. He's very hypersexual. I'd like to measure the volume of muscles on RuneScape werewolves. Well, get back to me on that and let me know the results. Imagine a chat full of people like him. Yeah, that would be... I like cool, but I wouldn't like 10 cools, or 20 cools, or, or really 5 cools, or 3 cools, or 2 cools. I think 1 is the perfect amount. Cool is the reason why people make the argument that porn is bad. Are we going to have that discussion today? I was actually getting legitimately mad reading comments about a variety of things pertaining to um, atheism as well as banning porn and the things people were saying. And it's been a good long while since I actually got wound up by random internet comments that did not involve me at all. Um, it's... Ooh, don't even get me started, dude. Don't even get me fucking started. I, this is something that I could sit there and fucking just... Bah, 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 And, like, I don't even give a shit about... Like, I didn't even know about the Pornhub thing until chat told me. It's the arguments that people are using specifically that piss me off. Hello, Hydrophilic Toaster. Usually wouldn't like someone, like, cool, but he lets me fuck with him, so I like it. So he... Is that... Are you sure you're a submissive? Like... He's just like your little guinea pig, and you like it because you can dominate him intellectually? I'm not sure what's what's going on with that. I have a friend who jerks off to my boyfriend sometimes. When did I? I guess you didn't. You know, that's me being homophobic and associating bottomhood with submissiveness. You're just okay with that? Like, I don't know. I don't know. That's weird. Like, people are going to be people, but letting people know that you're, like, jacking off to their boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever is quite bizarre. That would bother me a lot if someone was like, hey, dog, uh, you know, I'm masturbating to your mom, for example. Or well, You can't really do that now, but you get the point. Like, someone who's, like, a close relation to you. People who argue about porn are almost always coming from bad faith. I think that almost all of the arguments are religious in nature. Not all of them. I do think that porn can be harmful to a developing brain. One of the comments that had a little bit of understandability to it is, you know, I found pornography when I was like 10 years old and it completely skewed the way I view these things. Um, same here. Like, I discovered pornography while I was still shooting blanks, before I even knew what masturbation was, before I had hit puberty. I don't really feel like it had the uh, extreme mental ad adverse effect on me, but maybe it's just, I don't really have a frame of reference, right? No fucking idea what it would be like to grow up without that influence, but I didn't feel like it... Like, obviously, it wasn't a good thing for me to encounter that at such a young age, but, you know... It was my fucking parents' fault. Like, you know, I think it should be the responsibility of my parents to keep me from seeing weird shit on the internet. I don't know why everyone has to start. Like, every adult on the internet needs to submit their ID and go down this bullshit and let the government dictate, you know, what websites people are allowed to go on because they can't parent their kids is basically my response to that. Like, just to simply, uh, simply be a parent. Um... Hello, Dan PMK. And, you know, the thing that... One of the things I was getting really pissed about is they argue that, like, more or less that their children seeing this stuff is society's responsibility, okay? Now, here's a question. How many of those people... Do you think the people saying this who are largely from, like, religious backgrounds feel the same way about other forms of addiction, like homeless people who are addicted to drugs or food stamps? Do they feel like it's society's... Uh, job to take care of those people? I have a feeling probably not. Uh, it's only when it comes to this shit that it's like backed by the religiosity part of it. Um, I guess you could say, you know, but it's, it's the kids, it's the kids versus adults or whatever, but I don't know. I like the idea in general of society, you know, owing something to other participants. Like, we should care about each other and try to do right 
by other people, but I don't think uh, this is one of those instances, the, the banning porn thing. Society only needs to do things that benefit me. God is watching the homeless, though. Religion only exists if it makes me right. As if we weren't all jerking it to things that barely resemble pornography. You know, literally all we need is a stick figure. Yeah, I mean, I was... My first uh, masturbation experience was to a... Like a motherhood book where it was like, this is how you hold your titty for the baby to breastfeed. I found that and I was like... <gasps> the jackpot. <laughs> That's, that was the first thing I, I fucking beat my meat to. So, yeah, if it's gonna... People are gonna fucking jack off... But I do agree that, like, I also think that people do downplay porn addiction. I think that it can have really negative effects on people, and it should be taken more seriously in general. Just don't think it's the government's job to uh, take care of us in that regard, necessarily. Jacking off, stream today, King. YouTube exercise videos are my fucking drug as a 13-year-old. From an external point of view, banning porn is the stupidest thing ever because there will always be a way to see it. It's just a power move. Yeah, I'm of the opinion that it's just a way to get like people comfortable with the idea of the government dictating which website you can go to. Like I can see the Texan government, which, you know, I, I live under the Texan government. You ban the porn and if you speak out against it, you're terrible because you got to think of them kids. From what I understand, even the Democrats in Texas voted for this shit. So it's not even like a... Uh, just just a, the right side it was like a bipartisan effort to ban the pornography from what i understand so you know you you ban the porn you can't go to these websites unless you you tie it to your id and yes the, your government has all of the id and everything but you gotta wonder like how long is it gonna take before it's like okay well now we need to start banning places that express deviant sexuality to protect the kids so any place that's friendly with gay people lgbt um, now you can't go to those places and it's still about protecting the kids. And before you know it, they're just ch blocking side after side after side. And uh-oh, now we're in a closed fucking garden that Greg Abbott gets to dictate. We just get to play fucking Hot Wheels all day. Excellent. Wonderful. That sounds like the internet that I want. That sounds fantastic. How long until BDSM Uncle Sam comes knocking down on my door? Imagine if it's all poly to expose illegal immigrants. Remember the first time I saw pornography was actually when I watched YouTube. Somehow there were videos that showed a game show where these women were put in really awkward situations, had their tops accidentally removed by some wacky shit like a pole falling and taking their bra straps off. What the fuck? What do you mean? You should have to submit a picture of your wang to the NSA to watch porn. They're going to want every person to have to sign in using their ID to access the internet with everything you do. Yes, yes, that too. Like, I don't particularly like the idea of privacy being completely gone and i guess one of the arguments people would have with that is they already have all your shit and that's true when it comes to the feds but like what's is the response to them already having it to just say yeah just block just take everything like just you know walk over me <laughs> like please please dude how will Tolo satiate his crippling porn addiction i don't have one of those maybe you could have made the argument when i was a teenager but uh, I don't go on Pornhub regularly at all. That's a dumb defeatist attitude. I hate when people say that. How long until they come for RPG Maker or Horror Games? I just don't like the idea of this, this morality police banning places we can go. Unless it's like something that makes sense. Like if it was like a... Like a you know, human trafficking or something. I could kind of... I could understand that. Um, but I don't know. It's it's rough. Open internet history and type only. All right, let's see. Let's see. This is a Joe reference. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. The first thing I get when I type only into my browser is that old black magic, my one and only loot, the RuneScape 3 wiki. <laughs> so, you know, uh, that that's about what my browser history looks like. I also have the second is Cyrax Twitch 2023, the only the one and only VTuber Twitch stream by Neko Gamer 749, and the third one is a bookmark from years and years ago called I Only Fuck Vegans. I forgot about this fucking guy. I I have to show this to you. I wonder how many of you know who this man is. 
I completely, like, K-hold this human being. God damn it. Well, I guess you've... It's it's John Sackers. I only fuck vegans. I ain't logging into OBS browser. So if you want to watch it, there's the video. You lucked out. It's a cringe video. It's like this vegan making weird ass songs about like wanting to well, uh, only wanting to fuck vegans. I will post it in the Discord for your enjoyment if you really want to see it. Let me just post it in the main part. I uh, thank you, Matt Meg, for the seventy five month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Got to verify your age? Yeah, it's because I'm not logged in on the OBS browser. It's got its own set of, like, recommendations and everything. That's a great way to see it. Christian Jihad? Yeah, yeah, it's... Interesting state of affairs. It's going to be a long year, isn't it, bros? I need to... You know, you need to hold me accountable. I can't talk about serious things that are political in nature. I can only talk about, like, white male fart porn or uh, the dog shitting on my floor it's gonna be a long life dude come boys and come buddies dugong porn no that's reprehensible hello matoko how are you dude 20 disclaimers and three yeah 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 get me bricked up right now boogie should make white male fart porn oh i guess we can talk about that against my better judgment um how do you guys feel about the statement uh let me find it specifically what what was it i don't want to take someone out of context i want to read the quote verbatim um what the fuck was it i have to find it give me a second i guess i could just go onto his twitter uh what was ever the appeal of watching? Because he cosplayed as like a wholesome Keanu Chunganoid. Used to call himself Mr. Rogers of the Internet. Um, and, you know, people were more naive about that kind of thing back then, I guess. I don't think it's a new revelation at all. I think people just uh, were not as... They didn't realize the playbook as much back then. Hello, Lululand. Oh, we're talking about Boogie. We're talking about Boogie who said... God, what? I, I guess I'm going to have to go to his dumbass fucking Twitter and read this stupid... Oh, thank you, Kratok. Hot take. Video games are supposed to be fun, not lectures about why being a white man is bad. Now, let me, let me preface that I understand this is not a real thing he believes. This man believes in nothing, and this is to farm engagement and get people talking about him. And it's worked because I'm talking about him. But there are people who do believe that because they have mentioned games such as Wolfenstein being like an example for uh, games that make you feel bad for being white, which <laughs> interesting choice for sure. Um, I don't know why you would use that one. I believe that's about killing Nazis. So, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Like I've played, you know, OK. I'm going to throw my, my hat into the ring. I play a lot of indie games that have very not popular messages. Like, they are not AAA games about, you know, save the world. I played games that were very critical of, it, like, specific demographics of people. Um, I played one that made me feel terrible for being a streamer. Um, I played a lot of games where people ex espouse, like, um, very... Uh, interesting personal wor worldviews but even then i don't really feel like i played a game that made me like my takeaway was white people bad no no they're not always joel not always some of them are uh, what was that fucking game called it was a um everything's gonna be okay i believe is it was like absolutely throwing fucking like mortar shells at everyone it's one of the it looks like a joke meme game because of the visuals, but the the message it had was very, uh, it was not an easy thing to digest. Let me put it that way. There are a lot of them that are just jokes, but like even the serious ones, I don't really feel like there's ever been a white man bad game to my recollection. Uh, maybe Ghost would know. Maybe I'd have to ask him. Class of 09 made me feel bad for being a man. Why? Didn't you know Kyler is meant to be a role model? What was the game called? Everything is going to be okay. I think. Let me see. Let me confirm. 
Yes, it's everything is going to be okay by Alien Melon. It's uh, you look at it and it just looks like a like a funny, wacky, random he he xd game, but it is not a um, it is not a feel good experience whatsoever. Hello, Pompey Panda. Probably saw a vaguely Hispanic character and made him feel terrible. Um, like I just don't get it. Like I'm, you know, I'm white. I'm, I'm like, I'm part of their demographic. Like I'm just a normal straight white guy. I don't, I just don't understand where they're coming from. Do you, do you, uh, I, I just don't know. I know there's some people who get really upset when there's like weird little facial hairs on the, like the face of that one lady, uh, Alloy from the, horizon game but it's just i don't know people need to worry about things that matter <laughs> people really are very bored huh all men become pedos because someone knocked over the lego tower quote killed me i don't remember it exactly so don't see where they're coming from maybe for cultural difference but holy shit the peach fuzz yeah boogie has to make shit up now for in yes 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 but the thing is well, this is an interesting topic of conversation, I think. Let's say that we're right about Boogie and he doesn't believe in any of this. Doesn't that almost make it worse? Because there's people who he know. That means he knows that there are people who do believe in that. And he is he's grifting them and spreading it like a really fucking awful message solely for personal gain. Um, <laughs> it almost makes it worse to me. Uh, thank you, Empty Perspective, for the 72-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hello, Zamonica. Hello, Just a Gamer John. Women have hair on their face. No weighing. It's, uh, it's a weird, weird environment out there. I've been hearing whisperings of Gamergate 2. I still don't really know anything about it. I think I asked in Discord someone to explain it to me, and it just seemed, like, stupid. <laughs> it's, it it seems like a like a uh, like a, an op. I'm gonna believe that everything that happens this year, since it's an election year, will be an op. So get ready to, to get ready to hear that from me ad nauseum. Gamergate stupid. Yeah, yeah. You know what a surprise. Forced diversity, anger bait, or something. You know if the VOD of you playing that everything is all right game is on YouTube? It should be. I don't know where. It, it, would, it would have been in a Sunday stream with a bunch of games. So I could ping Ghost. And I think he would know. Do you think Cool Baby is a bad company? I don't know anything about Cool Baby. But I have to be honest. That's a great name for any sort of business. Especially anything on Twitter because of the new management. I saw something on Twitter that was mildly interesting, but I already forgot, so maybe it wasn't that interesting at all. It's not a Gamergate 2 because the games are still shit that runs like shit no matter the politics. Maybe my baby's name IRL. We all know that if hypothetically, if you were ever to have a kid, you would, you would name them Joe. We know it. Cool baby or sweet baby. Sweet baby cool is too coded. Babies cannot be cool. They can't even hold their heads up under their own power. Seen Dune 2? No, I haven't seen Dune 1. I haven't read any of the books. Like, I need to do that one of these days. I know a little bit about some of, like, the, the Jom Gabar, I think it's called. Little thing you put your hand in. I know bits and pieces, but nothing substantial. Gom Jabar. Okay, okay, I fucked it up. Uh, Jom Gabar. Gom Jabar. Blah, 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 fucking boom hour over here a sweet baby thing could have been swept under a rug if an employee hadn't freaked out on twitter and called for a witch hunt on the steam curator right right i think i did see the uh thing about the business with the curator only thing i know about doing at this point is the meme about the knife now you got to learn about the i don't know what that is which sweet baby did goodbye volcano high and a bunch of diversity inclusion things in games so you don't need a ping ghost all right all right good shit um i don't know like 
what's wrong with diversity? Like, that's the thing. Like, I don't understand why this ever became a thing. You want to know one of the best shows for me? You know, you hear these stories about like like a little little black girl who sees like the new Little Mermaid, and they they get so excited that they're represented. I think that's really sweet. I think that's awesome. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that whatsoever. And I've had my own experiences too. You know, as you know, I used to be the worst person ever and had the wrong opinion on literally everything. Um, but then I watched a magical TV series that made me know how wonderful the joy of inclusion is. I, it was called Bob's Burgers. You know, you look at these movies and these shows and everyone has these like knockout crimson chins, like these fucking amazing jawlines. And I had always been a chinlet. And I, yeah, I was like, wow, it's like I'm in a show. This is really quite wonderful. I understand where everyone's coming from now. Maybe, maybe I should be understanding towards minorities. Uh, so thanks, Bob's Burgers. You changed my life. Don't you know these diversity characters are taking up important character slots in the cast? Diversity is when people don't want to be genocided. Maybe the discourse was the tokenization. I think there's a point to be made about tokenization, but it doesn't really come off that way with a lot of these people. People made it a big deal about diversity when it was an issue from a consulting firm orchestrating mass reports against, against the Steam Group. It's when these people who literally do not care about video games in any capacity come in and start forcing diversity as the priority instead of the game being fun. I'm just not necessarily convinced that happens all that often. I'm sure you can find an example or two, but I think it's just like way blown out of proportion. Hello, Igrizar. Problem with any blind producer coming in to force an issue? Yeah, that, like if that specific scenario is happening, I can understand. You can make an argument that, you know, uh, cynical forced inclusion to to extract as many bucks as possible could be harmful you could definitely make that case i'm not convinced that is uh anywhere near approaching a majority or a plurality of games including diversity but you, you know I've been listening and I don't chat much, but as a colored female, when I was young, I never made the distinction if a Disney princess was white or black. I feel it's the parents pushing their short sort of agenda, making it a point. You know, maybe. Uh, there's truth to that to a certain extent. I tell a story a lot about how I wanted to be the pink Power Ranger when I was, uh, when I was a little kid for Halloween because I thought she was cool and I had a crush on her. And there's, you know, God knows Goku is not dark skinned, but we we all know how the Southern Hemisphere feels about Goku. You know, national fucking hero, hero to everybody, honestly. <laughs> so yeah, it doesn't. You don't have to, but it's. I don't think it's a bad thing. I don't think it's a. It's ruining anything. I think if you were to point out an instance of like, let's say someone's like, okay, this this Akira guy is dead. Let's get, like, a Hollywood guy to come in and make Goku black. That would be a little weird. That would be strange. I would understand why someone would have an issue with that. I don't think it would be the end of the world, but I could definitely get, like, a knee-jerk reaction to, like, uh, retconning the race of a character. But, you know, once again, I don't think that that is as prevalent as people like to believe. Not saying anyone in here believes that, but just in, in a general sense. Not the same, but even having brown hair and being the before of a lot of those makeovers on TV and seeing, like, a Barbie doll with dark hair instead of blonde was really nice. Yeah, like, okay, so one of the things, like, uh, on my mom's side, I have uh, Jewish heritage. I have very curly hair. Like, I'm I'm a weird-looking white guy because I have, I have very wavy slash curly hair. And when I was a teenager, imagine, like, having that sort of hair, like, big, puffy, curly hair – and the popular sexy style is like, let's get straighteners and be seen. <laughs> like, so I could kind of, it didn't really end up being that much of a problem for me personally, but I could see the point in little things like that. Now it's like the popular shit or these perms and like the curly stuff is in. And you see like people lusting over this uh, Eddie character from Stranger Things my hair kind of looks like that if you i'm not anywhere near as good looking as that man don't take it that way but i have a similar kind of hair like the long kind of wavy shit that is uh more in favor now than it was back then final fantasy 7 came out everyone in my school got the tifa haircut really that's interesting what's your curl routine i don't dude i just fucking let it go i'm a wild man 
It's okay. It's back in now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got the luxurious, uh, luxuriant locks of hair. I remember thinking I wish I had straight hair. Whenever I tried to straighten it as a teenager, it was a nightmare. It looked really stupid, but uh, it didn't really matter. Otter's a lucky woman. I don't know about that, dude. I don't know if, uh, you know, Tolomeo, the prize of the century, right? Racism is in adding this token character highlights the genetic or moral differences in the side character. Your argument doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I don't think I've followed this, this line. At its core, it's just racism and anything that isn't a white isn't good enough. Well, hold on. Okay, so reading this shit out of context sounds bad. <laughs> reading this shit out of context does not sound great. Um, I think I, I should have been here for the start. I'm not trying to dissuade you from talking about this. I just think it's a little too late for me to get in. Delete all the sweet babies in the world, but the industry is going to work the same. Just different coat of paint, trying to find a selling point, anything except gameplay. Consent is talking about people who feel that way, not saying he does. The only good hair is what looks good to you. I mean, I think that's a noble idea. But it, at some point, like you... How do I put this? We're a social animal. Most people need at least some degree of acceptance or perceived acceptance from society or their peers, friends, loved ones, etc. So that's like a really... In an absolutely logical person, I would agree with that. Um, you should be doing things for yourself, and you still primarily should. But at the same time, you know, feeling accepted matters to an extent. Um, part of the reason I wanted to lose weight, personally, uh, go from 210 to my, my current low of 171 is because, yeah, you know, maybe I should love myself at any size, but I don't really want to, you know, <laughs> like that. It, it's difficult for me to explain. I'm not very, I'm not very articulate or well-spoken. I just think that if you go and just like completely only go for yourself and you end up getting rebuked by people over and over again, eventually it will wear on you and you will break to some degree. It's important to be accepting of people who uh, don't conform to, I guess, like normal beauty standards to an extent. Um, and it's okay to want to be outside of that norm. But I think that you need to be careful with the idea that I only need my own approval and what I like because you're only human and eventually if, that, if other people don't agree with that, it's going to be hard emotionally for you. And it shouldn't be that way. But I think, uh, I think it is a little, and I'm not saying this specifically to you, Gauss, but I think it's a little naive to act like that isn't a factor or a consideration. Um, I didn't particularly like being called a walrus. <laughs> I was swimming by, uh, you know, Autumn's little brother. I'm like, holy shit. I'm just like, am I, am I an embarrassment? Like, am I going to be uh, the fucking Autumn and her walrus uh, husband? I don't really want that. And I don't want that for her either. So it's time to start eating a little bit less. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with that either. I think that's a normal, understandable thing. And we shouldn't like guilt people or say it's wrong to want to be changing themselves in a way to where they would feel more acceptable, right? I think that's okay. Um, I think the opposite is okay too. Why didn't you drown him? He's like 14, dog. That's what I... I, uh, I will say that compared to the things I would say to people at 14, that was very kind. <laughs> Let me put it that way. You cannot expect like a 14-year-old to be like the king of sensitivity, the king of diplomacy. Ah. And just it won't work. If you're overweight, buy a cowboy hat, a sleeveless shirt. No, no, I don't I don't think I'm overweight anymore. I'm five foot ten at 171. I still got a little bit to lose, but I think I'm I'm good now for the most part. Do you enjoy it? Yeah. So, Fafman, you, I'm surprised you remember that. I think uh, that's a reference to the story that I tell sometimes very infrequently that I used to just say mean things to women for no reason that I thought was kind of being fl like funny slash flirtatious, but it was really just being mean. Um, there was this one girl at church camp who I would just be like, hey, stick girl. 
And she did not talk to me. Like, <laughs> so I kept saying it. Like, hey, state girl. She just walked by me. And I'm like, what, what's wrong with this lady? Like, what's, what's her problem? And that was fucked up of me. That was not exactly the, uh, a sensitive and kind way to approach a social interaction. I don't want to be fat because if I ever get another job where I can't sit for 11 hours and I'm fat, then I'm fucked. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I may be just a little bit better about calling, like, random people things like that. But uh, we're all works in progress, right? My mom definitely thinks I'm overweight. She offered to get me a gym membership for my birthday. Well, that I can understand taking offense to something like that for sure. But, um... It's tough because, like, if you're if you're with someone who's getting like really really overweight and you're like genuinely worried about their health, like, how do you approach that in like a tasteful uh, manner? That would be a really difficult conversation to have, right? I think most people just literally let it go and don't say anything. Vetus has a lot of innovative approaches to horror. Kind of nice too. Maybe she cares about you. Probably isn't. Yeah, exactly. Like, there's it's really difficult. Um, so it seems like any sort of approach to that the situation is going to be uh, a little rough approach it by getting overweight myself and saying that we should both take care of it that's one way yeah, eating a lot of Cheetos mental switch a person has to make to be able to take away something that may have comfort in food and actually yeah it's difficult yeah it is for sure just like I'm trying to figure out how to nicely let me co-worker know he smells like B.O. a lot. Yeah, that's a really tough one, huh? Man, I always worry that I secretly smell like absolute dog shit and nobody's telling me. Like, I try to be very clean, very hygienic, deodorant every day. I soap in between my toes. I actually wash my ass. Um, but there's always that, like, what if I just smell like dog shit and nobody's telling me conspiracy? Food is one of life's greatest pleasures. It's hard to restrict it. Yeah. Thing is, I think the majority of fat people know they're fat. I think it's better to approach it by inviting them to form healthier habits with you than to be, and then be their accountability partner in those endeavors. Used to be one of my biggest fears when I was in high school. That's why you would get like the can of Axe body spray and just nuke yourself with it, right? Oh, I actually have a story. I, I thought Autumn died yesterday because, um... You know, I, we, we, we woke, well, she woke up, I was still up, we went, we went and, like, fed the dogs and everything, and she was going to work, and she calls me on Discord, like, during her commute, which never happened, so I was worried, like, holy shit, she got into a car crash, um, what the, what is going on, and I call her, or I answer, and she's crying, and something had stung her in the car, like, I guess she was driving, and she got stung by some manner of insect really bad, so she drove home, and we, you know, looked as hard as we could in the car for the culprit. And I said, ah, you know, hopefully it doesn't sting you again, basically. It's, she, and I'm saying goodbye to her. She's about to get in the car, and I notice this big fucking brown thing on her thigh. And it's this huge ass wasp. Like, it was, like, gigantic, dude. I'm like, okay, Autumn, don't, don't freak out, but I see it. Um, you need to turn, like, a roughly 25 degrees to the right so I have a good angle to smack this motherfucker off of you. And uh, I, I'm like, you need to be... Like, yes, that was a terrible situation, but that thing was probably on you the entire time and you only got stung once. And you should be very... You were very lucky you only got stung a single time by that son of a bitch. And I fucking crumpled him. Um, and now... A new, a new idea has been born into my mind. I need to be stung by a wasp. Because I, I thought for sure it would only be like maybe 50% worse than a bee sting. But like she looked like she was in absolute fucking agony. I don't think she would have reacted that way to a bee sting. And so a wasp must really fucking hurt. And now I kind of want to try it. I want to grab one like I did with a bee when I was a kid. And see what it's like to get a frame of reference. It's not that bad, but they do indeed suck. Well, it got her on, like, a really bad spot. It was, like, the back of her uh, bicep, like, that sensitive spot where if you if you scratch it, it you kind of get tingles. 
Such a man react to that situation. I got stung in the face by a wasp. I cried. Yeah, yeah. It, like, she doesn't cry easily for physical pain sort of things. So, it must have really fucking hurt. You saw the video of the American guy just eating the wasp nest? Yes, I have. Now she will probably be a little more... Like, she... I would see these wasp nests and be like, baby, I need to kill these in case they sting the dog. And she's like, no, we need to we need to love all of God's creatures, basically. I'm like, okay. Now I think I will be able to persuade her to, to kill those fuckers. Hello, ghost. I hope you're doing well. Would you let a bullet ant crawl on your wiener for $1 million? For a million dollars? Yeah. Yeah, I fucking would. If it was a single bullet ant and it just had to crawl... How long does it have to crawl? Even if my dick, like, scabbed over and fell off like that for a million dollars? Fuck yeah, dude. An hour? W would it just be, like, fucking pacing back and forth on my wiener? Like, take two steps, turn around, take two steps, turn around, take two steps, turn around? You gotta ask? No, I just need to know that... There's trick questions. People love doing this shit where they ask you a question or there's a riddle. Um, and then when you... It's, it has like a logic trap or some bullshit. And if you get it wrong, they act like you're just like the dumbest person imaginable. And everyone knows this. So I just want to flesh out the parameters. Because um, it would be worse if it stayed on your dick. Because if it's an hour and you put it on there, there's a pretty good chance it would just crawl away from your dick somewhere else. And that would suck, but it would it would pretty quickly leave your, your genital region, I think. So I just, like... Parasitic wasp made Darwin question if God was a benevolent creator. A million you could get a vaginoplasty after your dick gets destroyed by a bullet ant. Is it going to be angry? Is it going to be a, in a morose mood, perhaps? Would it be fascinated by a piece of cheese? You just need to know the specifics. Can I be hard? Yeah, that sounds like it would be worse. Um, but maybe, like... Okay, look at it this way. Another situation is, hypothetically, is there a chance of contact, like, venom transmission? Like, if you got stung while hard on the dick, and then the ant was not limited to your dick and wandered around to, like, let's say your butt cheek, or your the small of your back, or wherever, it's not really relevant... Would it hurt your partner to have sex with them after the bullet ant bite? Like, would it, if they, you know, would there be like a little bit of residue that would also cause them pain? Is what I'm wondering, because maybe if you get stung by a bullet ant and that wasn't a consideration, you'd be like, you'd be having the most powerful boner of your life and you would have like, you could be a porn star for like an hour. They'd have to get used to your new girth. Would you be able to stay hard through the pain? Um, I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. For me, the most difficult thing in terms of maintaining an erection is annoying noises. Nothing kills my mood faster than like an annoying ass noise. Like, let's say a dog going... <laughs> Um, it's done. Like, it's over. It's completely fucked. Uh, you know, fuck it, send it, you know, GG, go next. Pain? Sucks. But, like, if I cramp up, it's not the end of the world. Like, you can keep going. So, I would say that pain is on a lower level than... Like, it would be way worse if you had, like, a cricket on your dick for the, like, having sex portion. Like, if he was just sitting there chirping at you like the peanut gallery while you're trying to lay the pipe, that would be mad irritating, and I would probably not be able to maintain an erection with a cricket chirping at me. Um, I'm not sure about the bullet ant. It would probably, probably not if we're being realistic. Did you see the Twitter post about Jack's life? Apparently the bullet ant ain't shit. No, I haven't. I, have, I don't even know who that is. Ever got hit in the dick by a ball? So, you need to remember that I'm someone who has uttered the sentence ghost pepper frenulum on more than one occasion. I, I'm i not saying this to like portray myself as like a tough guy or a Billy badass, but I am very resilient to pain under most circumstances. Unless it's like a, 
either back pain or tooth pain. Those are my weaknesses, but I am not, I don't know. What about the bullet shrimp or what, or the pistol shrimp? That shit would shatter you, dude. You would be fucked. What about ear pain? That sucks too. Rub the ghost pepper for, accidentally, yeah, I have. Considering the sandpaper tooth thing, I will choose to believe you. You know, I don't get what this sandpaper hang up is. Like, JFC mentioned that, like, one of his relatives thought I was an idiot liar for saying that. C Cooler Matt brought it up in our conversation at dinner yesterday. Um, now you're saying it. Nani23213 has, has thought it was crazy as well. I don't understand, like, why this is such a hang-up for you guys. Like, I literally was just talking about ghost pepper frenulum. And I feel like that would have been a way worse thing than the, the sanding a bone spur in your mouth. Like, it's really not that bad, I promise. I swear. You just, you take it, you make it into a triangular shape, and you sand it until every, like, ten seconds you pull the sandpaper out to see if there's blood to make sure there's not a lot of collateral damage to the gum. And if you have even a little bit of blood, you stop for 15 minutes. And you slowly and slowly work your way down to finer sandpaper, and you can shave that bitch down, and it's not sharp anymore. And it saves you... Like, it's infinitely more painful to have the sharp protrusion cutting your tongue all of the time than to just sand the fucking thing down. It's really... It's like... Okay, remember when we were kids and we'd have baby teeth, and there'd be that, like, uh, apprehension about getting it pulled, Right? And the apprehension is always worse than the actual pain of getting the little fucker. Like, it's just do it, dude. It's not that big of a deal. Do you have experience? Yes, because when I got a... I had to have a tooth extracted around a year and a half ago. It was a molar. Because um, when I had my wisdom teeth extracted, the roots of the wisdom teeth were left in by the oral surgeon. Hello, Ashlyn. And the roots had shifted in a way where they collided with the roots of my, my healthy molar. And it, like, shattered the fucking... It was fucked. Like, and it was below the gum line. So they explained to me, like, if I really wanted to get the tooth saved, I would have to have them pull down the gum line all the way down to the root, try to do a root canal, pull it up. It would have been, like, thousands and thousands of dollars, and it would have been an absolute fucking nightmare. Um, so, skeleton help. Sometimes they don't take roots out because they're too close to a nerve and they're worried that like removal of the roots would cause complications with the, the nerves in your jaw, which was the case for me. So it, I don't think it was a malpractice thing. Um, but anyways, after I got the tooth extracted, I found out that sometimes after you have a, an adult tooth extracted, bone spurs will happen where like little bits of sharp like bone will pop up through your gum line they're not a tooth it's not i'm not sanding my teeth i'm not insane but it was really sharp and it was in it was on the inner side of my mouth so every time i moved my tongue it would slice it i remember it was agony it really really fucking hurt and so i sanded the bitch down it took like an hour and it was no problem at all Hello, Damien. And it was infinitely less painful to just sand the fucker down than to keep it in the way that it was. The tooth talk is draining my sanity meter. I had extra bone removed during wisdom tooth removal and confirm it's normal. As long as there were no nerves and it should be fine. Yeah, like, I would never, like, sand my actual teeth. That's fucking deranged. Like, it didn't, there was no, like, nerve in the bone spur. It was just a chunk of shit in my gum. And a little one of those come out when I got my wisdom teeth taken out, but thankfully it fell out after a few days. Bone spurs look painful. Yeah, it's there's a different term for it in the dental field. They're not typically referred to as bone spurs, but that's more or less what they are. This talk is draining my physical health. Like, okay, you guys talk about like like femboy breakfast and all this shit, and that drains me, but I don't I I'm not allowed to talk about something, something, maybe this could help someone someday. Maybe someone will go through a similar experience and they'll remember this talk and they'll know that, yeah, like I know from the, the guy on Twitch that I can sand this bitch down. I thank you, Nooch, for the 28 month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you.
You see, you hate us talking about gem boys all the time, but I don't try to like say, oh, I don't like this. Stop talking about this. Like very seldomly will I say that. Unless it's like a completely unproductive conversation where like people are actually getting mad and arguing and there's never going to be a resolution. That's like the only time where I will usually say we need to stop talking about it. Thankfully, Tolomeo gave me a helpful tutorial for this exact situation. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a femboy eating breakfast will remember your wise words and sand their bone spur down. Yeah, definitely don't sand your teeth. But it's not as barbaric as it sounds, I swear. Like, it really isn't. Um, especially if you build Gundams and you've had to sand down nub marks. And you have to sand that one specific part down without causing a lot of collateral damage. I hope I make it to Little Caesars. One of my pet peeves is when someone will jump into a conversation you're having and complain about it. So, you know, there are conversations that are unenjoyable for a large group of people. I know that. For me, it's specifically, like, you're allowed to not like a conversation. The thing is, like, if you don't like it, give us something else to talk about. Like, going in and saying, like, stop talking about this and trying to derail a conversation and no and posing no alternative whatsoever is specifically what's weird and annoying um not so much in in stream like it doesn't bother me that much in this environment but if that happens in real life i will get pissed my mom used to do that where uh, can we please stop talking about this and then everyone's a silent and no one's talking and it's like okay well you know is uh can we please go back to talking about, like, nut buttons? Please? Talk about our favorite Yu-Gi-Oh cards, minus Petite Dragon. I love Griggle. I think Griggle's bitchin'. Crab Turtle, Hungry Burger, Red Eyes, Black Dragon. Gate Guardian is pretty sick. Um, I like the Winged Dragon of Ra. I used to have in a Discord server I was in all the time, and I just left because of it. Yeah, I mean, you know, look at it from my point of view. Believe it or not, there are conversations that I don't particularly like either. And sometimes I'll be like, hey, I want to go see what's happening in my Discord. And I'll look at the conversation. I'll be like, oh, ew. And you know what I do in this instance? I don't say anything. And I go watch like some Cyrax video or King Cobra. <laughs> like, that is my response when that happens, right? This is not great to be like, yeah, if you don't like the conversations, just leave. But, like, you could pose an alternative. I, I'll talk about almost anything. Um, I'm not picky. Cry server talking about the weather to ignore someone. And I also don't really like it. Uh, is, if we're trying to have, like, a serious conversation... Not that that's what happened tonight, don't get me wrong. And people are like, why are we talking about this? Let's go back to f making fart noises. It's weird. One of the things I like about my group that I have in here is that you can talk about some pretty uncomfortable topics on a r relatively regular basis, and people remain civil and mostly engaged. And I like that. I wouldn't want to get on and just talk about, like, what was your favorite Star Wars movie every fucking night, right? It's one of the things, like, I had a great time last night when we was hanging out with Cooler Matt because we were talking about, like, some actual, like, real shit. And it's like, that's refreshing. I, I, you know, I like this person a lot. I wasn't sure what to expect going in, but they're actually, you know, you can talk about things that maybe you wouldn't be able to talk about with everybody. And it's, it's just refreshing to be able to have that sort of earnest conversation, right? Do I need to get soda? You don't You don't have to. We don't have any. But I was going to go to Whataburger after. Favorite Star Wars movie? Well, you know, I'm not really a, a, a yayer. I'm a nayer, right? And I don't mean I'm a brony, I swear. I can watch virtually any movie or any show, play almost any game, and I'll be like, yeah, I like it. it's fine. The only movie I can recall seeing in recent memory that actually made me think, holy fuck, what is, when am I watching This Is Dog Shit, was the last Star Wars movie. I was okay with the first two. I, you know, I thought they were fun. I mean, for fuck's sake, I like Solo. 
Like, I didn't hate Solo. I really don't have high standards for... Like, I'm just sitting here eating my popcorn, drinking my soda pop. You know, it's, I'm not that picky. But that fucking... The, oh, man. Solo's good. Well, a lot of people don't like that one, and I thought it was it was all right. Um, but the, the last of the trilogy of the new Star Wars movies was really rough to get through. I really did not like that one very much. Hello, Schrodinger's hamster. Solo, more like Pulo. The writing was awful, so you're valid. I don't even care about that. Like, I love corny-ass writing. I don't give a shit. It's just nonsense. It's gobbledygook, dude. It's like, why the fuck is Palpatine back? Like, what is this shit? Like, yeah, seven billion Star Destroyers. Woo, yippee. It was fucking nonsense dude <laughs> like it was the dumbest thing i think i've ever fucking watched and i usually i'm okay with that like i in, in different circumstances i'd be okay with like a secret army of seven guerrillion star destroyers but i don't know man it was rough for me it was really rough for me i didn't like it only problem i have with solo is that it's too damn dark the second one was the worst offender for me at least it tried something new and it was not just like yeah you could get into that fucking argument about like why didn't they do that before that's a fair point i think you can have a conversation about that um but you can have there's a several points in like the star wars like why don't they always use like these are not the droids you're looking for techniques that happened and it doesn't really happen too often beyond the initial instance so you could nitpick everything, I guess, like that. But, um, uh, eh. Uh, thank you, Satu, for the raid. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Like, I'm on the, the side of not really liking the kamikaze maneuver in, in that movie. But it's not like a complete deal breaker, right? It was a pretty scene, at least. Like, I'm easy to please. Like, you can have dog shit writing, and if the visuals are okay, I'm, I'm usually mostly content with it rise of skywalker is the kind of movie that even if you don't pay attention to anything that is said you're still going to dislike it purely through vibes because the editing's so bad yeah and like there were parts that i really liked in the second movie like i really liked the the part after the suicide bomb thing where you're on the salt planet and there's like these gorilla atats thought maybe it was a little silly that you know spoilers luke was a force ghost and he didn't realize it but it was a cool scene liked it well enough um this is fine bothered me way less than the leia ghost handing it yeah 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 that's fair that's fair i remember when people were mad because uh, the holdo lady had like purple hair or some shit and they're like tumblers in my star wars what the fuck is this peach mango habanero meat update delightful i think we've talked a little too much though it's an hour and a half sometimes i almost feel like i should just stop playing video games altogether and just ramble lady was terrible in the movie sure um i don't think the performance that one asian lady did was that great i but here's the thing here's the thing you're allowed to not like someone's acting in a movie, but hopefully we all agree that those weirdos who go on to like harass the actor in real life are reprehensible human beings. Like trying to get them to like kill themselves and shit. Like the guy who played Jar Jar Binks was like struggling with suicidal thoughts because they didn't like Jar Jar as a character. And it's asinine because they're like the argument is like Jar Jar is just like a appealing to kids like dude you're you're acting like a literal child right now you're throwing a tantrum over the funny star wars alien like you would think you'd actually like it <laughs> like, it, like what it doesn't make sense try not to touch the blizzard content anymore personally i don't i i boycott blizzard too i fucking hate blizzard exactly how the director wanted imagine being upset over that shit no like you're allowed to be upset that Jar Jar is a character. It's just you can't let it get over into, like, harassing people in real world. You gotta wonder how capable people are of separating reality from fiction, right? It's almost a little scary. 
Why can't Americans differentiate between reality and fiction? They just have a meltdown over their children's entertainment? I don't know, man. It must be the lead and the microplastics. Remember that in third grade, people booed the villain of a stage play, and even as adults, these people can't differentiate a character from the actor? Just Americans? JFC has a particular disdain towards uh, us Americans. You'll notice in a lot of his criticisms that apply broadly to people as a whole, <laughs> he will just say it's Americans. I think he does it intentionally to bait you. I think that's one of his tactics. It's all the high fructose corn syrup warping our brains. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we're syrup golems. It's a, it's a good time. It's intentional, but still fun to feed it. And JFC likes cuck porn. Who cares what he thinks? Does I thought... we Are we getting him mixed up with Tony? Does JFC like it too? You think Americans are bad? Just wait. That's true. That's true. Um... Some Asian cultures get really carried away with that too, particularly Korea and Japan, who both have the idol culture thing. Any, like, whether it's a VTuber or, like, a singer from a K-pop band, they have... I mean, there's a few K-pop people who have killed themselves due to a combination of, like, the way they're treated by the, the consumers of their product as well as the management. Um, it's just a horrible situation to be in, for sure voice sounds super familiar do you stream on any other platform no no i don't um the only other place where you'd maybe be able to hear it is like i ghost by go uploads my streams to youtube but aside from that never streamed on another platform hello sushi watch those italians react to people doing anything not strictly correct with pot hey you know i have to say um I don't know that much about Italy. I don't know that much about Italians, and it is anecdotal experience of a small subset of a population. But the Italians and, and Sire Max's chat are like some of the the most fun, welcoming people. Um, a lot of other places, if I was in a predominantly, let's say, like Japanese chat or French chat or whatever, the language really doesn't matter. And I tried to speak in English. A lot. I can imagine a lot of places would have like, and honestly, understandably, a really negative reaction to that. Uh, like, what the fuck are you doing coming in here and being like a colonizer in my my family Italian stream? But they, you know, they very nice, very considerate. They don't mind it. They seem to. En I hope they enjoy it. Like, uh, they don't seem to mind too much if I go in and I'm just a dumb American. They seem uh, really, really welcoming. Don't doubt mainland Italians give any shits about what you do with pasta. Yeah, they're the ones who show me, like, this pizza Vesuvio bullshit, too. So, it's it's interesting. It's interesting. I don't think I'll ever be able... We need... You know what? I think it's been a while since we've shown the picture. We need to get, like, a refresher. We, we need to show the, the people what we're talking about. Let me find an image of this. Adistar, do you have it? I guess it's like a pizza that's supposed to be like a volcano kind of thing. Don't you know everywhere is becoming American? No, 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 no. I think that if you have a... Like, I don't think it's particularly polite what I do. Um, I want to be... I want to go over there. But I also feel like it would be kind of weird if I was using like a machine translator to speak in Italian as well. Um, but, like, sometimes people will come in here and speak in Russian and, or some language that I don't understand. And a lot of the time, it's mean things, um, which is pretty funny. So I, I also kind of, like, get a little bit sketched out when someone comes in here and is, like, speaking in a language that is clearly not what is being used at the moment. Doesn't happen too often, though. Are you playing bingo requests? No. No, I am playing a game that's actually... You can recommend things in the Games for Stream channel, and there's no um, there's no bingo involved. Enough people seem to want this one that I'm interested. Uh, thank you, Hero of Canton, for the 69-month resub. I appreciate it. It is a very funny number. <laughs> I remember visiting New York and everyone was speaking a different language. Do you get upset when we talk in Beaver Scratch? I wouldn't say that I get upset. Even with the people who speak in foreign language, it is it can, I can understand how it can be perceived as rude. And uh, my only issue with it is like I'm not worried if they're 
you know, you hear all these stories about like I went to a hair salon with like X group speaking X language and they didn't think I spoke their language and they were just talking shit about me the entire time. And then that, when I was done, I responded in their native tongue and they looked super surprised and embarrassed sort of shit, right? The, the that happened internet stories, more or less. Recommending a game I didn't see recommended in the channel. Pizza Vesuvio. Yeah, the one specifically is like a mountain with like, a, you know, the little mashed potato volcanoes that had like the gravy uh, eruptions. It was like a pizza variant of that. And everybody clapped. Yeah. Yep. I, um, hold on. Let me see. No, this looks right. This looks right, Misa. See, Misa, I trust your judgment so much that when you say it doesn't seem right, I'm going to take your word for it. But yeah, this is what I recall Pizza Vesuvio being. Like, look at this shit, dog. Honestly, I'd try it. I think, like, the weird Italian pizzas are mostly fine. It's the weird Brazilian ones that are scary as hell. <laughs> like, the Brazilians do some unholy shit to pizza. Found a really cursed one. I've sent you the DM and Discord. All right, let me check it out. Some AI. No, dude, no. This is, this is like, they don't have AI in Italy, dude. Wait, you, you, it's the same picture, Adistar. Okay, okay. I, I thought, I was sitting here staring at it because I thought it was going to be like an animated image where it transitions into like Max with like a volcano dent on his head or some shit. Or like Max is a RuneScape fire giant, but I, nothing happened. I was just, I was staring at it like an idiot. I want to try the M&M one. How in the hell am I supposed to eat this? That's a good fucking question. Search for Neymar de Coxina. I don't know if I want to. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's about right, Sellison. Pollute all pizza enjoyers. In not this shit. Margarita pizzas are overrated because they're authentic. Costco pizza is way better. Hey, dude, you Americans puff pineapple and pizza, so fuck off. Okay, well, let me show you this. Um, let me show you a Brazilian pizza. This is what I think of when I think... Like, I don't like pineapple and pizza either. Don't get me wrong. Like, I love pineapple. Oh, shit. Hold on. I, I found another image of this. This is an Italian one. This isn't the Brazilian one. This is another, like, weird-ass pizza Vesuvio thing. Although, maybe it's different. It's like a starfish. Like... You know, I'm not trying to be bad-mouthing Brazil. I don't have anything against Brazil. But if you're really going to tell me that, like, pineapple on pizza versus this, the pineapple pizza is worse, I don't know, bro. Like, I don't know. I want to go to your house and take some of what you're on because we think we could have a lot of fun together. <laughs> like, that shit is crazy. Without onions, it would be okay. I mean, I'd try it. I don't think I'd like it, but maybe it would be better than you'd think. Fuck off. What do you mean, fuck off? I'm not being mean. I don't like pineapple pizza either. Is that raw onion or sauerkraut? I, it looks like onions to me. I lived three years in Lisbon. I saw some unspeakable crimes. Me? No, no, no. He's uh, he's Brazilian. He's mentioned being in Brazil before. I'm, I'm not trying to be offensive, I swear. I'm really not trying to be mean. I think it's delightful, but it's also something I'm going to laugh at. Like, I think... like You got to remember, I watch King Cobra JFS videos, or JFC, excuse me, where he makes, like, Mountain Dew hard-boiled eggs, and I want to make that. Helbleda was talking about doing a cooking stream and I thought about being like, hey, bro, you should take like a, this guy's recipe and try to make it good. I was once called racist because I said that it's unhygienic to cook pizza with cross-contamination and no gloves. They put Italiana in the visibly chemical pink part. Just food guys don't take it serious? Yeah, yeah. We must all remember that we all originate from the fool of all things. Doesn't Brazil also do a banana pizza? Banana sounds better than pineapple, honestly. I don't think banana pizza sounds all that bizarre. At, at the very least, it's not too far removed from the pineapple pizza. 
A lot of people enjoy the sweet stuff on there. Their saucy, savory shit. I'm not one of them, but it's... It's a thing, I guess. Brazilian pizza, that's my people. Pretty good. It sounds like it could be alright. Be willing to try it. I'm just not necessarily a fan of the hybrid of, like, pizza with sweet. Like, white sauce pizza? No. <laughs> no, I don't, dude. Have you ever had pizza with powdered sugar in it? No. I don't like sweet things very much in general. Uh, see... Now I have my man on the inside, Cooler Matt, who can back me up. When we were eating yesterday, there was bread, and both him and my wife really liked it. And I didn't, because the butter had, like, honey in it, and it was too sweet. And I took, like, one little bite, and I said, like, it's too sweet. Like, it's too... I, I'm not big on sweet stuff at all. Sometimes, but it, when it is... When I do enjoy something that's sweet, it has to be, like, just a pineapple. Um, it can't be like a fusion of a bunch of different things or it's off-putting to me. Like just strawberries. Like I, I like eating fruit in small amounts. Um, I like cheesecake, but I'm, I'm really not big on sweet stuff. That caveman palate, isn't it the opposite? Like I eat some shit that I know the majority of you would turn your nose up at. I eat like calamari steak, black licorice. I'm just, like, I think if we're doing, like, the palate of a child thing, isn't, like, a sweet tooth more traditionally associated with children and not, not adults? I don't think it's, like, a child's palate one way or another. And it's not even necessarily that I don't like it. It's just that I can eat, like, a really small amount of it before it's overwhelming for me. Do eat spam? No, I've never had it. It looks kind of gross, but I'd be willing to try it. I know in, I think, Hawaii, they fucking love Spam for some reason. So maybe there's something to it. Maybe it's uh, secretly delicious. I want to try the salted black licorice for sure. I definitely have that on my bucket list. I think it could be really good. Okay, maybe we should play a video game now, guys. Maybe we should get gaming. CC's pizza desserts? No, not for me. But I also don't really like CC's in general. A Jägermeister? I've never had it. The sweet stuff does not apply with alcohol. Like, I can do sweet drinks pretty easy. That's, like, the big exception for me. I can drink, like, these fucked up cocktails, and it's no problem. Got a large stuffed crust pizza, that anchovies, extra cheese, extra bacon, onions, and jalapenos. That almost sounds good. Just rip the onions and the anchovies off. Although, I, I would try a piece with the anchovies. I've never actually had it. Maybe it's secretly good. I could see myself actually liking anchovies because it's like a saltiness thing. But I feel like the, the texture of the anchovies would be difficult to get used to being on a pizza. But maybe I'd like it. I still am adamant that that one guy who was insistent upon putting like whole ass anchovies in his beer was on crack. I think that sounds insane. It all ends Kapan Beverge in Shala. Swollen to bursting until I am disappearing on purpose, or fish, 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 soft spot, or new game, or maybe I misdirected you, or continue, or mechanical cows, or system, or I'm not happy or sad, I'm just here all the time, or end, or take care of yourself. I'm sorry, baby. It's a weird menu. Alright, I am going to go get some tea. I'm gonna get a refresh. Take a piss, and then we'll get gaming. Yeah, this is the main menu. Notice how, like, the typical menu options, like new game and continue, are highlighted. So I'm pretty sure it's just a weird-ass menu. All right, be right back. You gotta wait, buddy. I'm sorry.
fighting. Ooh. I'm out of Diet Coke, brothers. Oh. Kid Pro Quo wasted $5 on my ass. I thought he wanted me to get ass cancer and die. Oh, thank you, I'm Holly, for the tier 3 resub of 89 months. I uh, hope you've been well. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thanks, Iguana in your ass, for gifting a sub to La Palm. Uh, thank you, Kid, for gifting a sub to King Cobra JFC. Oh. Okay. Let's get it. Let's see if this game's sick. Let me know how the volume is. Like you can see in here everything, all right? Uh, let me know. Just recently. In vomit. Was that a fucking muffin? A flying saucer appears. Oh. Sounds a tad quiet. Okay, let me turn it up a bit. Yeah, that looks like a muffin or a cupcake to me. You got this, Ellison. What would you like me to call you? Try not to pick something you'll regret. Okay, let's think about this. What's good, Pamirum? Uh, I thank you, Anonymous, for gifting a sub to our talking. I appreciate it. Misa? This doesn't look like Misa to me. Hawkmonger, I don't think that'll fit. Alessa. Xena, Misa Coco. Cockslave. No, I know. We were just talking about this last stream. Jamal. It's the perfect fucking name. Yes. Low key looks like me IRL. Oh God. How? How do you choke to death on fish eggs? Need a lot, yeah. You need a lot of fucking fish eggs. Unlucky. <laughs> this is a banger. This song. Uh, we've all felt that way, right? You are now in the vomit post office. Okay. This is kick. No, this is twitch. Fucking idiot. What are you talking about? This is Jamal from earlier. Morning, Jamal. Crazy about that flying saucer. Did you get to see it yet? Yeah, I'm checking it out after work. I'm definitely not going to believe it's real until I see it. Did you see that? There's something moving in the box. I hope so, Ashtanga. Man in box brandishing knives says, Hello? Got a hankering for courier blood. Please indulge me. Oh my gosh, we better stop him. Take this. Obtain face paint? You'll need it to get to a higher level and beat him, but to actually level up, you'll need to use the mechanical cow here and milk the effect? You can do it, Jamal. Oh, okay. 
A lollipop wrapper is stuck to the bottom. Let me see. Uh, hello? Time to kill. The man in box brandishing knives is level one. You were level two. You repackaged the man in box brandishing knives. Good job. That's it? Phew, that was scary. Morning, everyone. Morning. Let's be done quick today. I want to go home. You've got four parcels to deliver around town. Time to get to work. Okay. They made the game political. Yeah, yeah. Why's it gotta be... Why does shit gotta be woke? I'm feeling really bad about being a white man right now. You mean? What do you mean? We're, why, why isn't the white man the boss? If you knew the code, you'd be able to open the till and take the stuff. Dang. Count the amount of times it is needed to be restocked on one hand. Perhaps everyone in town is illiterate. Oh, we're, we're going to do the 0, 4, 5, 1. I don't think that'll work. Maybe just 4, 5, 1. 6, 6, 6. What about, um... I mean, yeah, sure, why not? Okay. Central vomit. Wow, holy shit, this is bizarre. Shop is closed on Sundays. Wait. Bitch, it's Saturday. What are you talking about? A shallow layer of cigarette butts line the bottom. Thank you. Welcome to Skeleton Hell for the five-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Entering the lift could be dangerous. I don't give a shit. We're doing it. You couldn't tell if the lift was going up or down, and now it has stopped. It always smells of bleach in here. All of a sudden, the lift's doors open. Outside the doors, another lift descends into view. The lift attacks. Shit! Level 6. You were una unable to beat the lift. Game over. <laughs> From software. <laughs> Why'd you recommend this game, dude? How was I supposed to know? It was a beginner's trap. Well, I guess that's the stream, everybody. Dark Souls of RPG Maker style games get good. I'm trying. I'm trying really hard. Okay, so this is definitely a game in which we want to be saving constantly. That's good to know. Can we get anything from here? Move along, kid. I'm waiting for my big interview with the mayor. Bed frame for sale, $40, cash on hand only, please. That wasn't dollars, but you know what I mean. Hello, Jamal. Meet my new co-worker, Jim Sneak. Pleased to meet you. He he he. Today is Jim's first day on the job. We're trying to clean up all the litter around vomit since it's gotten so out of hand over the past few days. The mayor wants it sorted out by the end of the day, but we barely made any progress. Help with the litter? Yes. Jim Sneak begins rubbing his hands together suspiciously. Well, that should be okay. Just pick up as much litter as you can around town. I know you've also got posted to deliver, so I'll make it worth your while if you help me. Okay. Hello, Soren. What's up, dude? This seems easy enough. Just a bunch of mundane chores. Wait. Have I interacted with this? Some people in vomit opt out of using the bins. Vomit sounds like a respectable place to live. A respectable place to summer. Here's this guy again. That's Jim Sneak. Thank you, Soren. For the nine months, I appreciate it. What are you looking at, Jamal? There's still one more bit of rubbish in this area. Better hop to it. So Jim Sneak seems like a little bit of a, a little bit of a cunt. Is this it? Obtained trampoline. That seems like something we could uh, turn into level ups. All right, it's good. This is good. Keep going. 
Buddy, you're gonna have to stand back. We're not letting anyone near the flying saucer. Although maybe I'll look the other way and let you pass if you can prove yourself. Bud, if you can beat me, the strongest man under 5 foot 11 in town, I'll let you- the king of the manlets. Shit. Yeah, I am scared. Flying saucer experts on the scene this morning. They went off to get more equipment, but they'll be back this evening. Okay, picking up a weird scrambling of noises. Wait. What an asshole. He was standing right next to it. What are you looking at? You picked up all the rubbish in this area. Okay. The guy's a fucking cunt. I don't like him. I have a parcel for you. Amazing. That was simple. I like simple. Are they gonna be level 15 or level 2? I think we gotta be level 6. We gotta be like 6 foot versus 5 foot. We just need to go find some more stuff. Okay, we cannot milk the trampoline. I feel like people around me are not that tall. I don't know, maybe it's just, uh... How tall are you, Misa? Maybe you're, you're, you're giant, and everyone else doesn't seem that bad because you're just... Is that a fucking burger? Five foot four? Oh, okay. Hello, Chovy. Morning, Jamal. I don't usually see you here this early. I always make sure to have an early breakfast just in case of a cataclysmic situation later in the day. Hi, Jamal. Oh, my order. Thanks. Fancy seeing you here, Jamal. Hello. I've got a parcel for the basement apartment. Basement apartment? Yeah, there's also a note saying to leave the parcel in the kitchen by the oven. Is there a problem? Well, yeah, there is no basement apartment here. Are you sure you have the right address? Yeah, I'm pretty certain. Weird. Maybe Sue will know what's going on. Follow me. Alright, this is where it's like the drama is gonna start happening. Don't lull that. It literally doesn't matter on women, even if personally I don't find women sexually. Even if I didn't find women sexually repulsive, I would only date girls taller than me. What the fuck are you talking about, JFC? I wish I was a few inches short. I'm 5'10", but I can't wear heels without looking kind of goofy. Oh, ah, mm, ah, oh, ah, whoo. It's the McDonald's? Maybe it's a bunch of cowboys. Just like my Japanese henties? Yeah. Yeah, I hope we get to go in there sooner rather than later. Okay, you want to know how brain dead I am. This thing in the background is like an angel, but for some reason I saw Baby Yoda with a fez. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. You see it, right? You gotta kind of like unfocus your eyes. Don't really look at the head. Why am I thinking about Baby Yoda right now? Am I becoming a middle-aged woman? Hello, Jamal. Oh, my delivery. Thanks. Hey, before you go, is it true about the flying saucer? Yes. Maybe I'll go see it. Thanks again. There is a starring... Staring competition show on television. Sorry, I can't read. Text and education. A starring competition. Probably be rude to go into their room. I'm here waiting for a specific engine to come by. These rails are for the vomit steam railway, so trains don't come by much. I wish I lived here, living by the tracks, but without all the noise of a regular railway, it must be nice. Okay, let's go ahead and save again. Excuse me. Hello, Trinis. How are you, dude? What are you looking at, Jamal? You picked up all the rubbish in the area? Okay. No, there isn't. There's not more on the opposite side of town. You'll get hit by speeding cars if you wander into the road. Do you believe in ghosts? Should I answer this as I would? I do not believe in ghosts. A 
Let's do sometimes. You'll be hit by speeding cars. What the fuck? I wanted to get hit. I really wanted to get hit. Ghost by Go is not real. I mean, he's not an actual ghost, though. Okay, I got all the trash. Suck my, my wiener. East and west side? Wait, 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 wait. I think Jim Sneak is fucking scamming me, homie. He keeps telling me that there's too much on the other side. Okay. Maybe I didn't get it all. Let's go back. Hello, Banjo. How are you, buddy? There's no way Jim Sneak would do that. I mean, he was rubbing his hands. Oh, yeah, I just missed the fucking bottle. Wait. Okay, he's scamming me for sure. This guy's... This guy's a piece of shit. I don't like Jim Sneak. Okay, how do we counter this? Wait, I know. We have to milk it. We have to dispose of it. Damn it, maybe not. Okay, items. No. Think you missed a bottle? I think I'm being scammed. Like, look, 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 look. Picked up all the rubbish in this area, but I think you might have missed some litter on the other side of town. He said that last time. I just noticed this symbol up at the top of this uh, wall of leaves. I wonder if it's... You know, it's not a symbol. It's the skyline. I'm stupid. I'm on drugs. Thought it was some sort of secret symbol that was going to lead to a spectacular secret area. First Baby Yoda, now this shit. See, dude, he keeps fucking with me. What do I do? Not a serious question. I'm just thinking, like... Maybe I gotta bring it in here and throw it in the bin. Nearly full, but not quite. That should let me put it in. I never see you when you're working. It's usually Kick who delivers things here to you quit already. Today is his last day. I wonder who will be his replacement at the post office. Hmm. What if I just don't talk to him? What if that's the secret? What if he's stealing it from me when I talk to him? See, it hasn't respawned on this side. But then if I talk to that dude in the center, he's gonna be like, Hey, asshole, you need to talk to Jim Sneak. Jim Sneak is messing with us? That can't be right. Littering just to prank us is so unlike him. I'm sorry, Jamal, but you're gonna need some evidence if you want me to believe the things you're saying. What do you mean? Oh, I know what he means. We need to get this camera guy. Ace Attorney now? I hate that Channel 2 guy. He's hogging the only hog that's taking interviews. What does that fucking mean? Is he the dick whisperer? You look upset, Jamal. I am accusing you of littering when I'm not looking. Well, you got me. Looks like the jig is up. It's true. A couple days ago, I decided this would be a funny thing to do, and I was right. It's a hoot watching you go back and forth picking up my litter, and here's the funniest part. Handyman will never believe you. With my innocent nature and trustworthy face, nobody would ever believe that I could be such a menace. You'll never stop me. <laughs> now get out of here. I've got more littering to do. You get that? Hey, Tolo. 
I have the coolest idea. It would be cool if you were a law cow and people document everything so you didn't have to spend money on SSDs anymore. Free storage over Kiwi Farms. Yeah, okay. Whatever you say, Juancito. How do how are we ever going to solve this insane mystery? That's a cool idea. Maybe. He he really isn't gonna believe me. This is like trying to convince Billy Mays that his gay twink lover is is someone of uh someone who has ill intent. I need, like, a recorder or something. Someone got cancelled yesterday and they have everything archived. I have to become a wall cow so I can save money. Who are you talking about? Do you think having that storage would be worth people trying to get you to, like, kill yourself and shit? I don't really feel like that would be a great trade-off, personally. Just, like, get a, like, a cloud service or something, right? Holy shit. Oh, hello, Jamal. Not a bad day for fishing today. Wait, don't tell me you're here to fish? How unusual. Well, as long as you don't get in my way, I'd be happy to have you here. Use that spare rod. Fuck. I'm afraid I've already exhausted my generosity today by letting you use my spare rod, so you have to find your own bait. God damn it. Well... Oh, look, it's Jamal. Quiet in here, isn't it? You'd think a flying saucer crash landing right here in Vomit would liven up the place, but the mayor's managed to keep it all fairly hush-hush so far. Bored out of my mind, want to play a game? Rock, paper, scissors. Okay, chat. What do we need to do? That's the actual name, Trinis. Scissors. I, I'm kind of inclined to be a scissors man, but if only Farm Pig was here. Fuck you. Okay, rock. This guy's a motherfucker. They don't have any more pizzas left. I'm sorry, get some Pizza Hut. They should be open. It's Saturday. Okay, we won. It wasn't rigged. You won. Damn, here's your prize. Obtained exhausting. Hell yeah, man. That's a good attribute to have. I keep that one in the fucking pocket at all times. Wow, I got level 4 off of that. That's incredible. Okay, so it's not one item for one level. Sometimes you get multiple. I'll catch you later. Okay, let's see if there's anywhere else we can go. Mayor's currently busy. Oh, God. Copper Puddle Farm. I don't want to read any of this. Where does this go? Flat 2 of Vomit Apartments. Ma. I, I have to beat that fucking elevator. That's the problem. How the fuck is it still open and have no pizzas? What the hell? Little Caesars is weird. You can always check your bag if you've forgotten where you're going. Just in case you forgot, make sure you don't have any effects equipped when you deliver husband's parcel. You know how he gets. I don't know what that means. They're about to close. I mean, Caesars has always got shit in the back pocket, though. I, th I already delivered his, and I didn't have any effects, so... Oh, you could, like, actually... Okay, hold up. You can equip them, too. Can I use the trampoline? Maybe I should use the effects and talk to him. I want to see what happens. Is this like a puzzle game? It looks 
kind of like that right now. Yeah, it's like a weird... It's like a strange version of Yumi Nikki almost. Okay. Oh? That look in your eyes, it makes me think of a number. 603, and I hear the sound of running water. It reminds me of some coordinates. D7. 603 and D7. From Walmart while I'm here, aside from the soda. Um... Part of me wants Cheetos, I'm not gonna lie. We're getting back to in the Fatville. What if we wear exhausting? What if we get something different this time? Patience is the key with public transport. Okay, so this dude, when we have an effect, he gives us a hint. Public transport. Have I seen that yet? I sure hope this doesn't turn into something like that Alicia game and have shit, piss, and farts. This seems like a classy game. Good night, Adastar. Looks like Petscop. Yeah. Wait. This guy's trolling me. Okay, so different code, maybe. He said 603, right? All right. Well, this is... Uh, Alessa is very classy sometimes. Right? 306? I mean, maybe we could try that. Makes me think I've got to, like, wait for a train or something. Wrong. Okay. Then I, my, I need to figure out... Wait. Okay. So the effects might have... What if we go to, like, Sneaky Jim? Or, or Jim Sneak? Innocent and trustworthy face. There's got to be something I can do here. Let me try challenging the chief to a fight. He says he's the strongest man under six foot. Fuck. You were unable to beat chief. Game over. He killed me. He just killed me in the middle of the fucking street. Both of the things that involve the, the combat are level six. You never followed Kick and Chief? What a powerful gnome. Yeah, you got to be really careful with those manlets. So Italians like you, Mexicans like you. If you could choose which country would you take over next? I don't know... Like, like, three Italians like me and one Mexican. I don't know if that means that I've got, like, a, like, a universal approval in either Mexico or Italy. But if I could choose a country to take over next. Probably America, I would say. That seems like a good country to take over. It's, it's pretty close. I think that would be my boring answer. Mexican, but I'm in the south. China? Yeah, if I do China, I might be able to get some sick-ass Gundams. That'd be kind of neat. Uh-oh. A little man in a striped shirt and mask loiters by the post office. He mutters to himself, 684. The code is 684. Mu How are you feeling? I'm hungry. Okay, well that was that would have been easy to miss. Holy shit, I don't feel so bad. You did it. Obtained train tracks. Will we be able to be strong enough to fight the lift? The Uber and the police chief. Milk effects. Level six. So what happens if we're we're dead even?
That's so fucked up. So we just lose it, 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 in the event of a draw. We lose too. God damn it. Okay. I mean, level six still progress. It's nothing to be sad about. And I believe Autumn is home. Someone's home. So apologies for the dogs. Maybe it's fifty-fifty. Maybe. And just like that rock, paper, scissors, right? Disturbing content. Yeah, I think this is gonna get really good, but we gotta get through the preamble. <laughs> gotta get through the tutorial. A gnome is in your house. What the fuck was that? Did you see that image that flashed? Okay, we can sit down and listen to some tunes. The only tune we have is silence. Do you think a skeleton is going to pop out if we sit at the screen for long enough? Is the next Bucky 64? Hmm. Okay. Let's go talk to husband. The name Husband is weird, because I guess he is a husband, but you would think that in a game like this, anyone named Husband would specifically be your husband, right? Oh, that look in your eyes, you just reminded me, I recently found an old camera tape from when Sue was little. My wife went and got it processed, and we watched all the clips last night. There was footage from a February snow day. Made me think of the coordinates B1, can't stop thinking about weird stuff like that. We need that camera. I think it's finally time to go into that one room from the fucking, like, very beginning that I don't think we ever followed up on. Hey. You all like to have a giggle about me, but clearly I'm right. There's literally a flying saucer right here in town. We've all been melted to jelly by aliens. I'm kicking back in my flat with all my supplies. I'll be the one laughing. Basement apartment? Weird. I've never ordered anything, but there is something I've been meaning to tell you. I've totally felt tremors from the floor in here recently, only ever in this room. They feel the strongest in the back corner. Weird. Maybe they have something to do with this basement apartment. Let's take a look. The music stopped, so this is, this is officially spooky. What is the point of cock rings? I think it's so you get like a numb feeling when it when you're hard and your wiener falls off because you cut off like circulation. Thank you, Saint Romain, for the 29 months. Appreciate it. Let's see. The chef kneels down in front of the oven. He puts his ears to the cold tiled floor. There's a massive hole in the floor under the oven. This is bad. Jamal, help me move the oven. Managed to help move the oven to the side. The smell of old vegetable oil hangs heavy. I'm looking at that image that popped up. It looks like three women in Victorian-style dresses on swings surrounded by a large crowd. It could mean something, but I think it's too early to make any wild guesses. Crikey. There's a ladder. I suppose it must lead to the basement apartment. I'll go down to deliver the parcel if that's okay. Although it does look quite scary. Jamal, could you be my bodyguard? I'll come too. Two bodyguards. Guess I'll also come along then. That makes three bodyguards. Let's go. But you first, Jamal. Everyone climbs down the ladder. The wood is greasy. You arrive in a smelly cave with a high ceiling. Jeez, this is nuts. Let's check out what's ahead. Okay. There's just a funny milk machine. I like how we still have the burger background. There's a bunch of trash here. We can't seem to, to pick it up. And there's a, a small gamer in the corner. Her name is Grease Girl. Hiya, oh my order. Grease Girl takes the parcel from Kick. But I did say to leave it upstairs. Now everyone's going to know I'm living down here. I'm free. This living situation is too sweet to lose now. I guess I'm going to have to silence you. Wait. 
Hold on a second. I've seen this person before. Level three? Pathetic. You were personable enough to defuse the situation. You helped Grease Girl and Chef come to an agreement on letting her live here. Good job. Wow, Jamal, you're very personable. Thank you for letting me stay here. Chef, it would be a big pain to move all my stuff out. Don't get too comfortable. You're a cleaner now. I'll throw you right out. Let's make the Grease Girl the cleaner. That sounds like a wonderful idea. I get it. Sheesh, thanks for your help. Take this. Obtained phone calls. All right, now we're smoking. Thanks again for helping with Grease Girl. Today I'm trying to come up with a new dish for the menu. I'm thinking fish skewers could be good. Maybe something rare. Okay, so if we get a rare fish, we could give it to her for the fish stuff. Does this guy have anything to say? Would you like to order something? Okay. The Vomit Cafe menu has a jacket potato, cooked breakfast, bacon, brat, burger and chips, and hot dog. I want the hot dog. Jam donut, chocolate muffin, flapjack, and drinks, lemonade tea, Americano, and latte. Let's get the lemonade. Would you like to invite someone to lunch? Yeah, let's do uh, the receptionist. You take a seat and call receptionist. Oh, okay, I'll be there in a sec. After a while, receptionist arrives and makes her order. Food and drinks arrive after finishing her hot dog. Receptionist digs into her flapjack and sips her lemonade. What are the odds? I snuck out of work. Haha. Ha. Some of last night's guests are refusing to leave. It's a big mess. You eat the hot dog. You eat the flapjack. You drink the lemonade. Yum. Thanks for inviting me. We should do this again. Okay, what is your favorite food? And our options are fortune cookie and bean. I don't know about you, but between these, the fortune cookie, for sure. Everyone's saying bean, so I have to pick it, I guess. Being bullied. Okay, so let's go talk to this guy about the phone calls. I think we might be able to get Jim Sneak and uh, record his call with this, right? Oh, that look in your eyes, I can hear a soothing sound and I'm visualizing two different exits. I can see something else. There may be a bait of some sort in the place where these sounds are coming from. Wait. Okay. That doesn't seem like a... Uh... Huh. I'm kind of confused. So this is reminding me a little bit of Yumi Nikki, where it's like you have these little equips you can do that change the way characters act and unlock things in the world. That's what it feels like, but I don't know... I don't know how to use it yet. I don't know how to... Well, you know what? Actually... I can go beat the shit out of the two the two obstacles now. I can I can eat the effect and become more powerful. I'm level nine now, so I'm really in it. Let's go beat the shit out of the chief of police. I'm gonna fuck this guy up. You were strong enough to bop chief really hard on the cheek, leaving a bump. You're now allowed near the flying saucer. Good job. Should probably deliver all of today's parcels before checking out the flying... Fuck you, why? Is how police work? I roll. Yeah, if you assert physical dominance over them, they just yield to whatever you have to say. You should go and, uh... You should try it. I'm sure it'll work out well. It's always smell the bleach in here, and then we have to fight this asshole. You throw a big sword at the lift's cable. It plunges down into the dark. You don't hear it hit the ground. Your lift's doors close. Good job. 
You're moving again. What's your favorite genre? Okay, so rock, pop, or romantic comedy? So the first two are music. Romantic comedy is not really a genre of music, right? I don't really like rom-coms in general. That's more of a Misa thing, I think. You gotta wonder if these are gonna have any sort of effect. What is this? Fish food. We can finally go fishing, everybody. They don't watch K-dramas? That's surprising. You hear someone hurriedly getting out of bed and dressing themselves. Faced with an unwashed-looking young man who you've never seen before, a waft of takeaway rubbish fills your nostrils. Oh, my order. Thanks. That's so relatable. Hashtag me. I like documentaries. What was the last documentary that you watched, Misa? Can you give me a summary? I'm curious about your opinions. I gotta be careful because there's a distinct possibility that if I try to fish, I'm going to get completely owned. I had a dollar for every k job I was forced to watch. Oh. There's something on the line. Wow! A Europharynx Pelicanoides. I love those, dude. Wow, a shrimp. Oh. What's up? You're a swine. Cool it, man. Today's my day off work. Up to anything good. It's gonna take it easy. Europharynx Pelicanoides pulls out a tech deck and does a sick triple kick flip. I know what Joel would say here. Grow up. The guy's gotta have a hobby. By the way, I'm looking for a place to crash over the next few days. You know anyone with a sofa? Or floor fl Yeah, you can crash at mine. Okay. Catch four more fish and I'll have something good for you. Okay, so you really only get one. Like, we gotta find four more instances of fish food. Let's go see if this lady has anything to say about our new and exciting fish friend. Thanks again for helping with Grease Girl. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Is he at your house? I guess so. I don't even know what my house is in the context of this game. I'm not sure where it is I'm supposed to be living. Probably not the town hall. I guess that guy... <sighs> ...may really be my husband. Sorry, I don't know why I'm yawning so much. So, two exits. Soothing sound. Thought it was apartment one, two. Okay, okay. Yeah, I guess that would make sense. How would I ever get back home, though, if I had to fight a level six elevator and I just now got the ability to kill it? I don't see my new friend anywhere. Maybe he took the stairs. Lots of junk food. Dude, junk food sounds bitchin'. What's this game called? Um, swollen to bursting until I am disappearing on purpose. Which is a nice and uh, simple, easy to remember name. Hello, dumb duck. You haven't really missed too much. Go for some dill pickle chips. I don't think I've tried those before. I would probably like them. I'm a pickle head, unless it's like the, the cat pickle. Uh-oh, virus and threat protection. Sean World? Boss is hard at work on the crossword puzzle. Excuse me. 
All right, let's go in the flying saucer. So remember earlier when I said that there were like this, there were screenshots of an area that really reminded me of Petscop. Looks like we're getting there. Carousel is closed. Okay, well let's see what goodies we can find over here. Obtained cow food. There's a family of nice ducks over here. Ducks are calmly bobbing up and down. Looking closer, you notice you can't see the bottom of the tub. There's also a ladder attached. Well, let me down. <laughs> yep, here we are. Wonder if we're going to find like a wooden trap door anywhere. Ladder only works for ducks? Well, it doesn't seem to be working for them either. Just kind of sitting there, floating. Gotta wonder if there's anything to this. What if I go back? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Seems like you can actually get lost here. She really is Petscop like kind of. I don't know if there's gonna be any bizarre ass puzzles to the extent of Petscop. Then that means there's something to find here. So we will travail. We will go forward. Gotta wonder if the grid is like uh D seven B one. And if you imagine this as a grid, it's showing you, like, locations for points of interest. So I haven't seen anything that those those uh, bits with the grid would, would be able to help me with. Oh, hold on. The door is locked. What if it's like Petscop where you have to just sit here and after a certain amount of time it'll open? It's not giving door? Yeah, I, I thought this was like a... I don't know, like a lemon or some shit? Vetus should do that. Well, I've heard Vetus is working on a, a worm-like or something. Maybe, maybe he... Maybe this will be the year of Vetus. Maybe he's gonna come out with a smash hit that just humiliates everybody. Everyone's gonna quit game dev because why even bother competing against someone with the raw talent that Vetus has? Breaks into the schizo dev genre? Yeah, yeah. It could be cool. Maybe. And he's making a 100 hour Vetus worm like with deep lore. We got fish food. Fuck yeah, baby. I am so fucking hungry. It's unbelievable, dude. I could literally eat a person right now. God damn. Is this Petscop too? Yeah. There's no. I, you think there's leftovers still? I got through that shit last night, brother. There's like a little bit left, and I, I want to save it for autumn. It's like the... It's not the meat. I ate the meat. I ate the prawn. But she's got like other boxes. Okay. Fish food. I hope this is the next beaver game. We... Why does it say, are you sure? Like, is there something bad that's going to happen if I feed it? You set the cow food down in the chamber. Travel network. Okay, we can go to the bovine travel net. What? Oh my god, this is this is another area from Petscop. Isn't this where they first saw Marvin, more or less? Area that looked a lot like this. 
What the fuck? So... How deep is this gonna go? I don't know if I've ever been faced with a situation where you knock on a door, it opens, and you can't go in. That's really fucking weird. I want to see what's on the left before I jump. Secret pet scop game? No, it's definitely not a secret. Um, I think it's pretty overt and where it takes its inspirations from, so I doubt it's going to be too much more than some references. We'll see, though. Obtained cow food. Alright, let's jump down. As you fall through the darkness, your stomach rises up to your throat. You land in a pool of warm water. You climb out. Oh. Okay. So, is each one of these cows going to take me to a new place? Rise and grind every day to get that cow food. Thank you, Kaisa, for the 37 months. I wish I had a friendly pet cow. They're so cute. Imagine living on a farm and all of your farm animals love you. You got your cow, you got your piggy, you got chickens, got a donkey. No horses, though. I've delivered all my parcels. Nice, I've still got a few packages to go. I'm on my break right now. I almost forgot. Check this out. Obtained Moriki. Okay. Fits doors on the moors. Hello, Demos. It's just a video series, Chopsticks. I'm sure people have made, like, recreations of it. But you're not supposed to be able to play it. Okay, let's catch another fish. Wait. What do you mean? Wow, a Eustomius Obscurus. Oh, it's you. Nice hat. Snicker. I'll make you eat mudfish. I'd like to see you try dog food. You look like you wet the bed and stuff. I'm gonna make you push up grass. Big words for such a little person. Please stop being horrible. Make me... So what are you still even doing here? I'm taking you with me. What? Ah, a Eustomius Obscurus. Catch three more fish, and I'll have something good for you. Is it a solid watch? I really like it. It's probably my favorite sort of like video game horror content. I think it's definitely good. Hmm. Can I get back in here? Wait. Decided to leave the oven where it is for now while Grease Grill tidies up. Sue would probably let you use the hob. If you wanted to burn stuff. Like video game horror content. What are we talking about? Petscop. It's a web series. It's YouTube videos. It's really good. It seems to uh, have strongly inspired this game that we're playing right now. Okay. So I think we need to manage to get all of these cows set up. Can someone fill me in on this game's lore so far? We are in a town called Vomit. A flying saucer crashed into the town and weird shit is happening. I don't really know how to boil it down further than that. There's not really anything substantial that I've seen yet. Okay, is this the same place? I don't think it is. Oh no, these are just the different doors, right? I see. Okay. Wait, I actually needed to see if something different happened if I jumped off the other ledge. Hope big booty aliens are in this game. I've seen like a comforting lack of sexuality and sexual themes in this game. It would be kind of refreshing to play an RPG maker with nothing perverse. 
I don't really mind if it does have those things. But I've played like Alessa games and it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I want to go look for another area over here. What would this game be like if it was made by the Alessa dev? You'd probably have like a ghost animal following you around making shitting and farting noises. Ducks glowing before? I'm pretty sure they were. It's been like a blue glow over there just since we've managed to find this area. Is this the moors? Maybe. Oh, right. You know, that door. There was that door. Fuck. I'm not sure how the movement system here works. Cows would have massive jiggling udders. Uh, yeah, I guess they might. That's a possibility. I think cat Cattle Castle, I almost said Cow Castle, has stolen the show on the big titty cows, though. You can't really improve upon perfection. And you know what? I actually want to do a call out right now on Bunyip. I was in uh, Daisy's stream, and Daisy was pontificating about which building she should make next. And Bunyip said like semen recycling factory, or something to that effect. And I want to know what the fuck that's about. How it's like a semen composting and recycling factory. I was really surprised to see Bunyip say that. Oh. Oh, God, that was legitimately a pet scop noise. Okay. Damn. I'm not gonna forget to eat, brother. Believe you me. Fuck yeah, baby! Some very nice rats obtain fish food. I'm late for work. The exit of the rat hole is also the entrance to somewhere else. It always takes me a while just to figure that out whenever I'm trying to leave for work. Eh. Oh, I'm so old. Rock and roll rat can shred with the best of a me. I'm just keeping it loose. I'm rocking out. I like how it interrupts when you when you talk to him. No! Wait, that's wife rat and dead rat? You try to look it through the window, but it's too small to make anything out. Okay, well, let's save. Sign reads trampoline drop off point. Yes. Okay. Hey, get out of here. This is a crime scene here. Take this if it will make you leave. Obtained, I want my head on your lap. What the fuck? It's a maid outfit. God damn it. There's been a murder. Now I'm a fucking Neko Mimi maid for rats. Okay, so we're level 11 now. Okay. There's cow food. Let me go back and feed this one. This seems like a very important... What? Okay. I think we can get back there if we go down that well. Piano is broken. It makes no sound. Maybe you should come back later. Alright, so there's a piano room. What are you... F okay, okay. This is getting... This is getting confusing. It's gonna be difficult to consistently get uh, where you want to get from this point on, I suppose. I have a dark globe now, which is a moor compass. Okay. Is it going to help me with this? The rat holes have many paths. I-5. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. These are what the coordinates are for. I-4. 
Okay, so let's find D and B. I have D7 and B1. There was another one as well. I need to go back to that guy and get all of the coordinates now that I, I know what to do with them. Okay. See, now it's starting to get interesting. This is up my alley. So D7. Was this... Was left or right making it further? Okay. Right goes uh, higher, number-wise. Once again, I apologize for the dog storm. Do bisexual men consider sex with a woman experimenting? I mean, are they fucking... Are they, are they using test tubes? Are they following the scientific method? Like, what the fuck do you mean? Okay. D7 leads to another house that is locked. Okay, D7, locked house. Then we have to do B1. Those are the only two I have right off the top of my cock that I have written down. I'm glad that we somehow managed to stumble into the compass. This is this feels like it's something you could end up not finding for a really long time and just it takes forever to make any progress. I always hear about how dudes will experiment when it's about sex with another dude, but usually those people aren't saying they're gay or bisexual. They're just, like, testing the waters, right? So if you're bisexual, it's just kind of, it, you know, you like both, so it wouldn't be an experiment. You already know. Because experimenting is to find out if you like having sex with men or women, right? That's the impression I was under, at least. Holy shit, it's Santa! What? Are we gonna crawl into his fucking, like, okay. Hello, Vincent. JFC needs to experiment. I don't know if I agree with that. Santa's locked, yeah. Yeah, he sure is. Why would you test? Because you're curious. You're not sure. Like, you're maybe you've had thoughts, like intrusive thoughts about men's butt cheeks during class and you're like hee hee well maybe 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 it would be fun maybe i should try it you know there's people who are like bi curious right there's a term for that I feel like if you need to test whether or not you're gay you're probably gay i don't know maybe i like the thongster peeking out at the top right yeah, we've got a very professional stream overlay here. In my experience, most bi-curious people just end up being gay, but not all of them. Banjo, buddy. What are you doing? Are you being a stinky little dog? He's such a whiny baby. Like, truly one of the most pathetic animals I've ever met in my life. I don't know what his issue is. Dude, but I'm thinking triple. I'm thinking meat. I'm thinking cheese. Good God almighty, I am so fucking hungry. I could... I'm gonna be complaining about this. I'm sorry, I need to stop. Maybe I'll get a quadruple meat. Maybe I'll just... Uh, I'll go full fat. Plenty of straight men who tried then decided women only for them? Yeah, I feel like that's kind of normal. It's a one-off game. It's so early, though. I'm just so fucking hungry, dude. So E5 is where the rats are. Finally made it back here. Now I can go this way. I'm not gonna hurt you yet. Obtained alcohol. Oh, good. Mmm, yum, gaha. Didn't use the cow machine again. That's okay. So it said, like, you have to wait for public transit, right? Does that mean you're legitimately supposed to fucking wait here? What was the thing that it said? One of them said, uh... 
I don't remember if it was exhausting of the train tracks. Something's got to happen, right? Right? The barrier prevents you from proceeding. You ever been on a train? Not really. Been on like trams, but not trains. A 26-year-old man has been arrested on murder charges after an incident took place early yesterday morning at the city center subway. Subway services were resultingly disrupted. Oh my god. Yo, let me on, bro. You have to beat the train in a fight. Fuck! I lost. Oh my god. You son of a bitch. I was thinking, like, how, how difficult could a train possibly be? There's no fucking way. But I was wrong. I was wrong. I, I It's been so long since we fought an enemy, I figured the next one would be on the lower end of things. It's a whole ass train? I mean, we beat an elevator. Okay, so now we're here. Trains are pretty fast. I, I suppose you're right. There's something over there. Do you see it? Like, on the right side, there's a floating, uh... Something or other. I wonder if it's actually gonna result in anything. Okay. So we learned our lesson. Let's get the alcohol and let's leave. And then we can come back and fuck shit up. I, I want to go this way. I want to retrace my steps. I do really want to see what's over there, but this is where we get the compass. We're going to make it about a thousand times easier to navigate through the moors. Weird how this ain't the first time we've seen a train enemy in a video game. Yeah, there's been several, I feel. Like, I know Lost in Vivo had train enemies. I'm sure there's been train enemies. There's a train in Bloodstained that you could fight. It was a boss. I got a milk. I'm level 17 now, so I could easily kick that train's ass. Banshee boy. There's no need to whine right now, bud. Alright, let me get him up, get a refill, say hi to Autumn, and then I'll be right back. Okay, buddy. Okay.
sorry about that. I have Diet Coke. This one's like warm, but I need it, dude. I need my fucking crack. I need my drug. David Foster Wallace once wrote a piece about Desperado Joe. In the piece, he coined a new term, Joe Pilled. Wallace described a Joe Pilled tone as the unbelievably grotesque existing in a kind of union with the unbelievably banal. He described a husband beating his 1950s housewife to death because she bought the wrong brand of peanut butter. I told you to buy the GIF, he'd say, as he's clobbering her to death. This, he said, would qualify as almost perfectly Joe Pilled. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? Good God. Got some colorful imaginations tonight, I see. All right, let's write down all these coordinates. Okay, so we have that one. That's the locker house. 603 and D7. B1. Okay. Okay, we have those. Look in your eyes. You bring public transport. Patience. Okay. He doesn't give me a coordinate for that. That's the hint for the train. So this husband is, like, carrying us so hard. Fucking goals. Okay, so no coordinates for that. That globe, I'm really scared, Jamal. I'm scared all the time. Me and the missus had an argument last week about me not doing anything anymore. She's so good to me, but I'm so tiring. She told me that it feels like I tattooed my brain. I've been thinking about that a lot. I shouldn't have told you that. Sorry. That's fucked up. Oh, that look in your eyes. It reminds me of the friends I'd hang around with as a teenager. We'd like to go out to the moors during the summer. One time we found a pond in there and tried fishing. It didn't go very well. I think I can still remember the coordinates. I-3. Okay, there's a fishing place in the moors on the I-3. And... Oh, you're looking nice, Jamal. I didn't know you did that sort of thing. Okay, he wants to fuck me. Chat, would you? Come on, be honest. No? What do you mean, no? Come on, dog. It's fucked up. Who wouldn't? What am I doing right now? We're going to use the cow network. Uh-oh, Banjo's doing some hood rat shit. He's getting in trouble. Okay, I have nothing to milk, regrettably, despite the, uh, the Mado outfit. Respectfully, you look fine, but I don't swing that way? What do you mean? All right. Let's see. I feel like this is going to be... This is going to be really difficult to figure everything out in this game. But we now have coordinates for I-3 and we need to continue exploring the Ratterverse. It's okay to have Pikachu as one of your favorite Pokemon. Who the fuck is arguing against this point, JFC? Who, who has ever said, like, you're not allowed to like Pikachu? What's this game about? I don't fucking know. It's like a weird pet scop thing. Pikachu's normie? Alright, alright. Feel me on this, brother. If you want to enjoy niche interests without being molested by, by the common man, you have to accept that some people desire to be normies, and that's okay, too. There's nothing wrong with liking Pikachu, bro. As long as it's fat Pikachu. Yeah, as long as you're not like Sozoi going like, oh my god, puffy Pikachu pussy. Then I think it's okay. So he said I3, right? Pikachu's lame? I mean, I don't, I don't really like Pikachu that much myself, but Pikachu's fine. Fish food from here? You know, you might be right. Yeah, I did get fish food randomly wandering around. Why did you hate it when I called you the early fat Pikachu of Twitch? I don't even recall this interaction. I'm not sure if this is something that happened or if you're trying to lie to me right now. 
a lot of other Pokemon Pikachus really in the middle. I agree sometimes and others I'm completely perplexed on when he types messages. I don't know, dog. Sometimes simplicity is great. One of my favorite Pokemon, probably my favorite Pokemon is Kingler because he's just a sick-ass crab. You know, there's no, uh, there's no pretentiousness with Kingler. He invented the attack called the Crab Hammer. Like, he's just... He's perfect. In every single way. I'm gonna fuck this train in the ass. Espeon's great. Yeah, Espeon's cool. Probably my favorite of the Eevee evolutions. I actually really liked Vaporeon, but I feel like I can't say that anymore. Like, I, just, I liked Vaporeon when I was a kid. I thought it was cool. Like a, like a sick-ass mermaid dog, and now there's, you know... There's uh, connotations to saying that now. Jolteon? Jolteon's cool, but I think it was my least favorite of the first three. Um, it's weird to be like a dog thing without a tail. I like Flareon a lot. Flareon's cool. Go for P I'm not even saying I like Pikachu. I'm just defending people who do. I like the ice one the most because I'm a fan of ice types. I think the the ice one... Okay, okay. Let's see. While we're waiting for this train, I'm going to get a picture here. This is... W one party here is going to be really weird, and it's probably going to be me. I'm going to explain why I don't like the ice one. And I'm going to do it with a picture, okay? The, it looks too much like actual human hair. It's weird. And considering how people act about the Eevees, it bothers me a little bit. I don't like the, the hair thing. Otherwise, it would be fine. But I just specifically do not like that. Like bangs? Yeah, it's got like this weird fucking bang thing going on. I disagree. That's fine. Glaceon is my favorite one because of the hair. No, I mean, you're allowed to like different things. I just, that's why I don't like it. You're now allowed to ride the train. Good job. Wait. I like this shirt because it makes me feel like a girl. I wanted to ask about underlying problems... Had you had a history with these issues before the summer? No, I don't think so. Morning, I put my hands on my face and it felt like someone else's face. Ha 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 ha. Dirty pots and pans. Full of dishes. Maddie stormed out of work today. Boss said he won't be coming back. I've been working alone more while waiting for somebody new. Never seen the Pokemon in real life thing. Oh, that's weird. I don't know if I like this, brother. This shit looks like Monster Hunter to me. Like, oh, okay, come on. I, I need to show you this one specifically. Oh, is it not saving as the... Okay, here we go. This shit... If you told me this was like a mod to make Anjanath look like a Pokemon, I would have believed you. Like, that's... It seriously has Monster Hunter vibes to me. It looks cool, though. Resident Evil 6? God. Oh! Uh. Hmm. Are you a liar? What's up? I mean, everyone is, right? I guess it depends on how you qualify a liar. Like, if you... If lying even once makes you a liar, then everyone is. If we're talking about it being a habitual thing, I'm not sure how you would quantify it. But yeah, probably. I've definitely lied about some stuff. I don't like the realistic whale. I like it looking round and smooth. Okay, we're in January now. 
A good thing about winter is getting to have your body covered all the time. I don't know how I'm going to hide the train tracks up my arm in the summer. I wanted to talk about a man who really scared me when I was a teenager. I was alone when he approached me. He looked like he was probably someone's dad. He asked me something he shouldn't have. Makes me feel really disgusting, so I thought I should tell you about it. I struggled to sleep last night. I started thinking about girls I used to like. I was getting that feeling in my stomach. Getting to know people in school should have been the easiest thing in the world. I really, really wish I could try again. I don't think it would be morally okay. So maybe I wouldn't... Yeah, you got it. That's why you watch anime. So you can get the feeling of being a high schooler without actually going to a high school and getting arrested, right? I'm sorry, Mega Bro. Everything seems so easy in hindsight. I'm sure there's a lot of hard things now that I'll look back on one day and they'll seem really easy and simple. But everything feels so strange and scary and prickly when you're really there, so I don't know. I only speak to mom on the phone when I feel especially scared now. Took some time off work, feeling a bit better. Christmas is over, but I'm still hooked on mold wine. Haha. -ha. Clean enough. Okay. So, uh... The tub is drained, but the plug is in. Fill the tub. You pull as hard as you can. It feels like there's a force on the other side trying to keep the plug pushed in. You manage to yank it out. The tub fills with water. Uh-oh. The room smells strongly of blood. Oh, am I killing myself in the tub? I think that's what's going on. So, uh, what is this game? That's a good fucking... Who is this bitch? Take this obtained candle. Thank you, circus woman. Can be burned. I accidentally exploded my pizza rolls. How did that happen? I left them in too long. Uh-oh. I mean, it's fine. Is, is it? Yeah. Okay. You can have my Cheetos if you want. No, it's okay. They're not, like, burnt or anything. They were just in there for, I guess, too long, and just a lot of stuff popped out. All right. You know? Yeah, I'm sorry. That's heartbreaking. Pizza Vesuvius. Indeed. Dude, I am mad at Bancho. Mm -hmm. Our blanket's fucked. I saw. Yeah. I was not thrilled. Like, he shit all over, and it was the kind... It's not like solid turds. It's like diarrhea in the fucking carpet. I spent, like, 45 fucking minutes cleaning it, and in the time I was cleaning it, he ate our blanket. This is the rat world. What? That was what I was about to ask. What is this? It's, it's the rat hole. Cannibal cow. Yeah, that's the save point. There's a dead rat! Yeah, that, look. No! That's gonna be us. I'm gonna die of a hot Cheeto overdose. Who killed him? I don't know. It was specifically described as a murder. Is that a Sherlock Holmes rat at the, end, at the top there? Banjo's a menace to society? I, I think so. There's a detective one. There's like a Misa rat over here, if you look. It's I called the Dork her. Rat. Sorry. It's okay. Erm, um, uh, I feel like saying erm um immediately yeah. makes you a dork. Yeah. Erm, um, I'm actually... Oh, no. You're good, you can chill. I'm just... I, I'm trying to navigate through this. It's confusing. Alrighty, love you. Okay. I can't go down here because I don't have the fucking trampoline. God damn it, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna burst into treats, chat. Hmm. Okay. Maybe it's not all fucked. Please don't get any closer to the edge. Are you still okay? Yes. Why won't it let me jump off of a fucking building? What kind of treat... I don't know. I think if I exploded into some sort of, like, candy, it would probably be, like, warheads. Because I'm sour and nasty and I don't last very long. All of a sudden, afternoon. Only beat me because the sun was in my eyes. Can't you see I'm interviewing here? Stop bothering me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I want some 
warheads. Warheads are pretty fucking good. I used to, to eat those until I couldn't feel my tongue. Kind of get like ulcers in your mouth and your tongue would be sore. Some good fucking times. So warhead flavored fo four loco. That sounds nightmarish. Sounds so fucking gross. I want to try it. I have a rule now where I only drink on special occasions. Like if we go out for dinner or something to a nicer place. So I'm trying not to uh, just drink random fucking four locos. As, as tempting as it is. We're at energy drinks. I, I really do not like energy drinks that much. Like I don't really have a reason. I just don't drink them. And I feel left out because everybody is talking about, like, monsters and, like, fucking rain. Um, the only ones I've really liked were the monsters that are, like, the rehab lemonade tea. That one's really fucking good. And the 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 blue monster cans. The, the ones that are just, uh, like, regular monster but blue. Uh, Sugar-free or less sugar. I like the boomer one, too, I guess. Hello, hello, I'm just burying stuff, don't mind me. Hi again, I keep getting funny looks from the guy in the house over there. I guess I probably do look strange loitering out here with a camera all day. Maybe he should just mind his business. I need this fucker with the camera to help me with this gym asshole. I haven't banned it. Opinion on Arizona can tea, it's alright. I wouldn't turn my nose up at it, but I wouldn't go out of my way to get it. I hope that at some point we get a gun. And we could just, like, shoot this guy in the face. I would be so fucking thrilled. You have no idea. Vomit. Bulletin breaking. Okay. Anything new recently? Well, last night, you know had a uh, tiger prawns which are really really big shrimp basically and they're amazing i really enjoyed them i ate the tails too um had a there was caviar there that was pretty good um yeah, but i i actually have like I hope I don't get shot for this. Maybe it's my, my low blood, but I think that, like, regular, like, Akura eggs and sushi, like, I think I like that more than caviar. The caviar that I've had, at least. I think the, the regular orange fish eggs are the top tier for me. But I like all of it. Um, the orange eggs? Yeah. An angler fish. Hello, I apologize if I'm looking unkempt. Why do you look so unkempt? I just went through a pretty messy divorce. Having a really difficult time. So, lore. Lore. The male anglerfish is like minuscule and a parasite. And it fuses to the skin of the female anglerfish to serve as a cum factory. So, I'm curious how a divorce would happen. Is it like a pimple-popping session gone wrong? Haven't had as much company recently. I'm actually quite glad you caught me. I'm glad too. We should start a club. Anglerfish eats a fly out of the air. Let's talk about divorce. I really don't want to do that, so you're not going to return me to the pond. Of course not. Wow, thanks. Okay. I am a cum factory now, but you wouldn't be like a... You wouldn't be putting a penis in anything. You would just be like a receptacle. Holy shit, dude. There was fish food over here. I need to be really diligent with the exploration. There's been a couple things that really are, are hard to find. Okay. Wow, a cod. Ah, uh, hello, you're probably here to catch me, aren't you? Yes. Well, I'm not interested in someone like you. I'm looking for something more interesting. All right, I can tell you can help yourself. You want to compliment my stunning good looks. You're nothing special. Don't kid yourself. How are you taking your divorce? Rude. That's personal. All right, let's catch him. I don't think this is going to work. Wait, 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 wait. 
I can lose? A Bathonomous Gigantius. Holy shit, that's a big isopod. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm Bathonomous Gigantius. It, it's nice to meet you. You were a pain to find. Sorry. What are your hobbies? I'm quite into numerology. Stop being so nervous. I'm sorry I can't help it. It's okay if you don't want to, but would you like to be f f friends with me? I am so tempted. Thank you, VI Pizza, for gifting a sub to Springy. I appreciate it. We could hit them with the ew, no. Oh, wow, thank you. I can't do it, dude. I can't do it. Jenna would say ew. No, I ain't Jenna. Holy shit, who's this virgin? I'm waiting for my hot date. Yeah, okay. Too busy hunkering down on a burger to indulge in your conversation. I guess I could, uh... Yes, yes, oh god, oh god. Oh! Occupied. Oh, that's the restroom. I thought it was the fuck shack. Okay, wait. Have the Bathynomus Gigantius. That's perfect. Was removed from inventory. This will be great. Here, I'll give you a reward. I'm the worst person ever. The isopod was like, yeah, let's be friends. And I, I gave him to this woman to be turned into fish skewers. I'm horrible. I should die. Hello, Ivy League, Brady Brad. I'm Poe's sister. Hell yeah, what's up? She sent me here and said you're Coolio. I'm not, I'm not. But I listened to her tell stories about, like, fraternizing with elderly women and talking shit about the elderly women woman's progeny. Um, she also plays RuneScape, which is pretty cool. They, Her and uh, her husband both helped me play fucking RuneScape. And that means they have to be really nice, right? Like, I don't know what kind of grown people would be like, yes, let's help this this loser play RuneScape and do the Shades of Morton video game. <laughs> you gotta be a certain kind of person. Bossing right now? Oh, you play RuneScape 3 too. Holy shit, okay, there's like the four of us, five of us. One day I'll get around to bossing. I've been spending my life doing quests. Old school RS. I played a lot of OSRS, but right now we're playing RuneScape 3. RS3 game. I'm mostly a skilling golem. Dude, I don't understand. You have like 15 different accounts. It's so weird. I made them boss with me because... Oh, okay. It all makes sense now. It all makes fucking sense. That's why you were sent here. It's because you, you know what I do for birthdays, right? I have a feeling you may have been told. No, I don't. I'm sorry, but you're about to find out. <clears throat> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday! Dear Ivy League, Woody Brown. Happy birthday to you. I've sang more birthday songs than a Joe's Crab Shack. Although I guess those aren't real anymore. What am I doing in this right now? I need to figure out the candle. And I got a fridge. I thank you, Ivy League, Gritty Brat, for the sub. I appreciate it. Enjoy the emotes. Thank you. Where the fuck would we use a fridge? They turned that one hose crab shack. I, I wish it was hose crab shack. Hob to burn something? But I thought that would be like food, not a candle. It usually tells you. Oh, 
Oh, no, okay, I guess that... There is... Oh, we got another key for one of these fucked up places. That is not what I expected to happen. I wasn't thinking, oh, a candle, it must have been... Do you think it's gonna be the key to Santa Claus? God, I sure fucking hope so. I want to know what's inside of him. I want to go deep inside of Santa. Also, this kind of, you know... This is a fucked up thing to say, but this kind of reminds me of, like, Torpal Duck being wife-pilled. Like, put on the dress, honey. Think Santa would let you in him if you asked? Yeah, I'm going to. I, I think it'll go in any door. I think the other one was also called, like, Morris Key. What a weird thing to say. Yeah, I'm just so wacky and zany, dude. Did you know my favorite Invader Zim character is Gur? Can you stream in April 12th so I can ask you to sing a birthday song for Cool 109 Love? To be honest with you, JFC, like, if there was any doubt that you were gay as hell before now, like, it's gone. You're asking me to stream on a specific day, not for your birthday, but for another man so he can get a birthday song. What the fuck? You're brave. You're brave. Surely the thought crossed your mind that, that you know, I would specifically go out of my way to not stream on that day. Me and Cool have the same birthday... He'd probably hit it. He fucking loves me, Tolo. What else can I do? Alright. We need to go to B1. I think that's where Santa was. Hello, Maman. S. Mort. You have to stream that day. It's my birthday, too. Don't leave a fellow runescaper hanging. My pizza rolls taste like Brussels sprouts. Were Brussels sprouts cooked in the air fryer? That's probably why. I don't know what I'm doing on April 12th. I don't even know what I'm doing tomorrow. We'll, what, what, okay, let me see. I can tell you now the likelihood based on what day it is. It's a Friday, so it's a decent chance. If it was like a Monday or a Tuesday or perhaps a Wednesday, it would be a lot less likely. But on a Friday, it's looking good. But you gotta wonder, what about November 16th? Baby, we live in the same house. I don't need to, we don't need to like, you know, stream to do a birthday celebration. We can pop bottles. What about September 11th? I'm still so disappointed that I fucked up and my, my anniversary is on September 12th and not September 11th. DM you the Thursday before? No, dude, like, it. honestly, if you want me to do anything, whether it's streaming, doing the laundry, being a worthwhile human being, going like, hey, 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 listen, yeah, you need to do this, you, you, hey, hey, you, you, is one of the worst ways you can go about getting that to happen, right? Do it on the 11th. That's how you get me to sing a, to stream on the 12th. Sing a birthday song for Misa and nobody else. Okay, so we're in the snow hills now. Holy shit! It's Santa. I'm I'm really not sure what I expected, but I I really wonder where this is going. This is such a strange game. I think it obviously has to do with gender identity to some degree. Trampoline drop-off point. Holy shit, is that a cat? We got more fish food. You feel like approaching the angel could start a fight. Christmas challenges you to a fight. I died. I got owned by Christmas cat. God damn it. I mean, you have to send it when you encounter it, because, like, the only way you're going to find out the level... Well, no, I guess you could just not fight it after... No, you can't, can you? Oh, well. I saved right in that area, so it's fine. 
You refuse to see that angel, huh? Baby Yoda cat? What do you mean? What's good, big bro, bud? I'm chilling. How are you? We're looking for... We're looking for fights with cats. Oh, I guess it is the little baby Yoda thing, huh? Wait. What about the rat? What a nice rat. Okay. So what did I get from that? I got another fish, so now I can get a... Hold up. If I milk the snowman, I'm level 20, so I can go back to Santa and beat the shit out of him now. Seeing cool rats puts me at ease. Yeah, this is... This is a very good area of the game. Like, with all this stressful shit, like Santa Claus... It's nice to have a return to normalcy with some rat homies. If I were to ask you to sing a birthday song for a woman related to your stream, it would be Amaranth. Why? You know, you know who else talks about Amaranth? I only know two people. Three. Three. I forgot about Noodle. Noodle got banned from Amaranth's chat for going and asking for milk. But aside from Noodle, JFC and King Cobra. King Cobra has done, like, live reaction to, like, Amaranth videos, and it's very uncomfortable. Maybe, maybe King Cobra JFC is actually, like, a real thing. Maybe it's not a meme at all. Need to see that? It's honestly, like, one of the things I don't like watching him do. Because he'll be like, oh, look at this sexy, hot, of age babe. Yeah, you're looking good in that bikini. Oh, man. Like, it's... It's not really very uh, compelling to watch, to be truthful. I like King Cobra, but, like, why... I, I feel like it's a little strange to just watch some dude, like, horn-dogging over an, an internet lady. How am I an Amaranth simp? If anything, I've been asking you for the Sasha Gray cooking collab and not an Amaranth one. I'm not saying you're a simp. You're the one who decided to bring that word into the conversation. I think you could enjoy, like, women content creators and not be a simp. And you know what? It's another tell because King Cobra goes on and on and on about how bad it is to be simp shamed. And here we are. You're the only one who's talking about simps that I see. What's up with that, JFC? Are you feeling simp shamed at the moment? Loved hit streamers. They always they are always funnier than anyone else. I think the funniest stream I ever watched was um, Meg Love. It's been a while. Let me get my MS Paint really quick for you. I need to draw you a picture. There was, like, a specific way this woman sat. She wouldn't talk to the stream or anything like that, okay? The, let's say that, like... Let's say that this window is the stream, okay? Like, that's the stream window, and she would sit in a position that... How am I gonna do this? Let me think about this. Like... No, that was no, that was good. That was literally perfect. I, I got it first try, but I, I messed up that one line. She'd be like sitting here, here'd be her head, uh, you know, she's got her, her hair, you know, just just chilling. Um, it'd be like this. She'd sit in these bizarre positions where she had like these enormous breasts. Um and the camera would just be at an angle like this, and she wouldn't be talking. Occasionally she'd throw like Naruto gang signs for like sign language or some shit. And that's not funny at all. You might be thinking, Tolomeo, why do you think this is the funniest shit in the world? Are those her boobs? Yeah, these are her, her breastuses. Hello, Evig. Now, the funny thing is she had, like, this add-on with Twitch where you could throw, like, darts and tomatoes. So you would have a chat just, like, 
throwing these fucking tomatoes and they'd explode into tomato juice right on her right on her tits and she'd like people would get banned there'd be like rules saying like please do not throw tomatoes at my breasts and people would just be sitting here like lobbing tomatoes lobbing darts lobbing bricks at these huge fucking milkers and it was one of the most bizarre things i've ever seen and it was honestly really fucking funny um you had to be there i guess i'm not seeing a lot of laughing in the chat right now but it was uh it was a good time this is wild is there video I, I'm sure there is somewhere. Makes me realize it's been a long time since I talked about Meg Love. Okay, let's beat the shit out of Christmas. You were strong enough to beat Christmas. Good job. Oh. 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 Okay, I see. Because I read old texts from him and now I can't sleep again anymore, it upsets me that he was nice to me and could do nice things and act like a normal person. Question mark? It's, um, beating Christmas, like the, the seasonal depression of Christmas. I can't stop thinking about how bad people can do good things and good people can do bad things. And at what point does a bad thing turn a good person into a bad person? Can a good thing ever turn a bad person back into a good person? It's an interesting thing to think about, and it gets even weirder when you think about how there can be people who, as far, like, in regards to, like, their family, their community, they are a good person. But maybe to, like, they have one person they specifically hate and do bad things to. And if they're good to 99% of the people in their life, but they're especially, like, criminally horrible to that one person, are they a good or a bad person? Um, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I have no idea. But yeah, you know, just the things that you think about before you drift off into sleep at night. Had a bad dream last night. Filthy. Soap by the sink is almost empty. Feel like I'm permanently stuck in fight or flight. It's really hard to show up to work functioning like this. Because there have been people in my life, you know, who come and go, who I've... I can see myself doing reprehensible things, too. I would say, in my mind, it's justified. I don't know if other people would agree. I was thinking about her and my tongue and her teeth in the school. They felt like the wrong person's teeth. I was thinking about her sister. What? Okay. Are you a coward? Yes. Oh, that's a long jump, wasn't it? In like January? Holy shit. Chewed all my nails off. When I moved out, I started thinking about myself more, and somehow it's even worse. Like, I've been doing nothing other than condemning him in my head, but then I started thinking about bad things about myself and my own mistakes. I feel like I've been condemning the wrong person, and maybe like to try talking on the phone for our next session if that's all right. Last night, I dreamt that Granddad died instead of Nan, and the dream I was a girl now and wore a dress, which I really liked, but I think I only liked it in a sick sort of way. I was unwelcome at the funeral. Recently clean. Yeah, there's some sort of gender trauma going in here, obviously. But... There's somebody new at work, so I've started taking less shifts. There's other things going on, like this man. I don't know if the man she's talking about in that one is the same man who said something completely unacceptable to her when she was a child, or maybe it's maybe it's uh, gender issues and sexual trauma within a family unit. Hello, Ark. Tub is drained, but the plug is in. Fill the tub. The tub is now full of water, you smell burning, you feel lightheaded. Take this, obtained screwdriver. Is it an actual screwdriver or a drink? Hmm. Toaster and tub, maybe. I'm not altogether certain what's going on as, as I'm sure you're aware 
What am I doing? Let me think. So I have a fridge. I have a screwdriver. I have fish food. Let's do fish food. I can do that. It's getting to the point where it's open-ended to a degree that I'm, I'm having difficulty handling. I think this will be our fifth fish and we'll get something from this old lady. Still says you have it on trial. So... If you're trying to invite people to the RuneScape clan, some people I just can never fucking invite, and you have to go to them in the game and use the clan Vexilium thing on them. That has been my experience with it. You can get that from the uh, the little clan area. I think I fucked up. I think because I, I failed to persuade the COD, I'm just owned now. Does that mean I'm so- No, okay. Let's try this again. Yes. You are so gorgeous. Yes, I know. I don't have time for this. Behold how nonchalant you are. Blushes and continues flopping around. So you're catching me or what? Yes. Okay, so I just have to be indifferent in, like, every single thing. Like, I have to be a sun deer. He likes sun deers. No moon deer. No star deer. None of that shit. Detransition or grifters piss me off. I don't know a lot about that topic. That's a very sensitive subject, and I don't know enough to feel comfortable about talking uh, on it. No. A fence sitter? No. I just don't know. I think if I'm if I'm not a like I don't know what we're referring to specifically. So I I think um, at face value, I shouldn't say stuff about sensitive topics if I'm not sure what's going on because I'm gonna piss people off because I'm ignorant, right? No. I was coming whether you liked it or not, okay? You're good, Pamiro. You've exceeded my expectations, Jamal. I suppose you'll be wanting your reward. A camera, thank fucking Christ. If I say anything is big trouble? No, no. Like, I just don't know enough about the particular instance in which they're talking about. I think you're gonna have people who detransition. I think there's people who are very clearly going out of their way to try to inflict harm on LGBT, especially transgender people. So I believe that there's probably people who are misconstruing, like, detransitioning stuff, but I just don't know the specifics, right? Can I get a quick take on Gaza? <laughs> um... Quick take on Gaza. I think, uh, I think it's pretty abundantly clear that Israel has overstepped its response and it's, it's on a, a level that is tantamount to genocide now, regardless of whether or not an initial response was justified. Love the LGBTQ community. I'm certain that both transgender individuals and people who transition back would all find me equally repulsive. Opinions on Project 2025. I don't know much about it, but from what I have read, it seems like uh, it's definitely not something that I have any interest in coming to fruition. for dog noise. Okay. There are detransitioners that are reasonable. Don't try to apply what happened to them as some kind of reason to keep anyone from being able to transition, but there's a small group that try to control everyone else and do the right wing grift because they detransition. How do I join the LGBT community? I think you've got to, like, uh, buy something rainbow at a store. That's what you do, right? camera. I have this fucking camera. Sif! 
Jim ass, you're you're fucking grass. You're not recording me, are you? No. Oh, okay. I'm accusing you of littering when I'm not looking. Just to make sure you're not recording me with that big camera, are you? No. Okay, good. Anyways, your accusation is correct. A couple days ago, I decided this would be a funny thing to do, and I was right. Okay. Now get out of here. I've got more littering to do. He's gonna say it's AI. Like, it's a doctored video. Need some evidence if you want me to believe the things you're saying. You show Handyman the video you recorded of Jim Sneak's confession. Handyman's face goes bright red in his fury. You've never seen him look like this before. He rushes off and comes back, dragging a flustered Jim Sneak along behind him. Jim Sneak, you sneaky menace. You're fired. I'll remember this, Jamal. You better watch your back. After Jim Sneak leaves, you and Handyman pick up the last of the rubbish around town. This time, vomit stays clean for good. I'm so sorry I didn't believe you. I think I just prefer to ignore the bad in people, but at least everything's all sorted now. Take this. We got a soft spot. Delightful. Okay, we should probably ask this dude about the variety of effects we've acquired. Please stop filming me. Okay. I don't think I've tried the snowman. Oh, you're reminding me of the pier my mom would take me and my sister to when we were kids. Once when nobody was looking, a machine made noises for me. So I ran away. I never wanted to go to the pier anymore after that. It closed down a long time ago. Now that makes me think of the coordinates D7. What the fuck? What does that text say? Too hard to draw. All right. Did we do alcohol? Yeah, okay. Shit. What about snowman? Oh, that look in your eyes reminds me of the friends I'd hang around with. Wait, the snowman? We only ever went there once during the winter, I remember it well. It snowed, so we went sledding, but all of a sudden we noticed a herd of cows in the distance. They'd escaped a nearby farm. We decided to do a vote on if we'd find the farmers so the cows could be returned or if we'd leave the cows be. We ended up looking for the farmer. The thought of the cows being free on the moors was nice, but we were worried about them being out in the cold too long. I still remember the coordinates. F8. Okay, I don't... That's a new one. I don't think we've been to F8. I hate pixel art so much, I can relate. I want to be the weird abomination thing, though. The soft spot. Hell yeah, dude. We're gaming. Okay, so let's go ahead. May the menus feel exactly the same as RPG Maker, but everything else seems like Unity with how this was made. People have gotten pretty good at disguising the engines that they use. There's now a lot less water in the... Oh, is this going to be like the ultimate goal? Like the more we progress through these areas, the more the water drains and we can go down that ladder? That makes sense. I think there are fewer ducks in the thing too. Hello, Ordity. How's it going? It's going. I'm chilling. Pretty fucking hungry. But uh, no complaints other than that. Forcing a drought through gameplay. I think we just need to find one more thing, basically. There's that other house. We need the more key for it. And then when we drain the well entirely, we should be able to go down and get to the next part of the game. Whether that's end game or a mid section, I have no idea. That's what I'm thinking right now, at least. I don't know if that's going to end up being the case or not. Okay, so more cow food. That is not the best item in the world. Got a one-month sub for RuneScape. I'm finally leveling up art. Nice. We need to get everyone addicted to RuneScape like a bunch of rats. 
my deodorant lied. There's no way this shit lasts 48 hours. I've noticed that my... My deodorant has become less effective as I've gotten older, too. I feel like that shit's like four-hour deodorant sometimes. What is... What is all of this shit for? Swiss faithful, yeah, that's fine. This is the part where I feel like it's going to get really cryptic. Did you milk soft spot? No, I guess I didn't. What did the fridge description say? It says someone needs it. Perhaps this can be traded with someone who needs it. I need to just go around and talk to everyone in the city again. Will the train show up again after I've... Uh, fought it and defeated it? I wish Truby was here. Truby's always with us in our heart. Even if he died along with Jenna in a wild dingo attack... He lives on inside of us. This piano also seems really important. Misa, why are you making these, these irritated dog faces at me? How many people have gotten banned? <laughs> Too many. It's not an irritated dog. It looks irritated. Or a suspicious dog. Misa hates you. That's true. That's true. I've always known that. I know Misa is just waiting for me to fuck up. And then she's gonna she's gonna plunge the knife into my heart. Why was Shadow Truby banned? Uh I think for saying. Kill all X. Okay, okay. Oh, he's gone now. Misa's more mean than usual today. That's okay, we all have bad days. Why are you still here? I'm looking for... Oh. Mrs. Mayor, when can we expect communications between the authorities and the flying saucer? I don't know. I'm not really very involved with that. Hey, get out of here, kid. You're getting in my way. No, I want to talk to the mayor lady. I didn't know she was a lady. Is the second Truby bad? I don't think so. I don't feel more mean than usual. Well, you should. You need to stoke that fire in your heart. Thank you, Sherna Brog, for the raid. I appreciate it. Hope you had a good stream. Hello, Magellan. Hello, Ravezon. What's up? I wonder if I can... Uh... Maybe we need to do this more. We should probably try... Having a date with everybody, right? Let's do... Clerk. Take my break a bit early. Their short wait, clerk arrives and makes his order. Food and drinks arrive. Wolfing down his burger and chips, he only stops intermittently to sip on his lemonade. Hadn't eaten yet today. I stay in bed as long as possible in the morning, so I never have breakfast. You eat the bacon bap. Does that look good? The girl who left early today has tried to drop her shift tomorrow. I'm going to ignore all calls about this. I refuse to pick it up. Uh, that's understandable. Eat the chocolate muffin and you drink the tea. What a wild combination. I feel a bit awkward being here. What a motherfucker. I 
I want to eat a jam donut. Honestly, dude, like, a jam donut sounds phenomenal right now. Boss. Take a seat and call boss. Be right there. Before you know it, boss arrives and makes his order. Food and drinks arrive. Boss eats a jam donut and drinks lemonade. Don't tell the captain, my wife, about me having all this sugar. I got a cavity two years ago, and ever since, she's been trying to make me go easy on sugary food and drinks. You eat the cooked breakfast, you eat the jam donut, you drink the Americano. Yum. Last Halloween, I bought myself this great big multi-pack of Haribo as a secret seasonal treat, but I didn't hide them well enough. The wife confiscated them for me, but she doesn't like Haribo, so she gave them to her sister who hates me. She signs my email up for junk newsletter all the time and makes scary faces at me when no one's looking. Sent me an hour-long video of her eating every bag in the multi-pack. I literally have no idea why she hates me so much. Um... Maybe she's a racist. He's a competitive hater? Yeah. I would be pretty upset if someone did that to me. Maybe talking to this lady. I think there's one on the line. No. All right. Who on God's green earth won a refrigerator? Hi again. I keep getting funny looks. Okay. Okay. I already talked to him about this. Is that a fridge sticking out of your bag? Yesterday I was stocking up on emergency supplies. Got home and had to throw a bunch of the stuff I bought away though. There wasn't enough room in my fridge for everything. I could really use a new one. Oh, we get cheese. Okay. Perhaps this could be traded. G. I wonder who would need cheese. Oh, I'm level 29 now. Perhaps there's a rat. I need cheese. No, you do not, Dirty Dan. You're lying to me. I give my man cheese to my wife. Oh. Damn. That's what's up. Alrighty. We need to make it to the rats. I'll give you a rat if you give me the cheese. Which one of them would want the cheese though? Maybe the elderly rat? Perhaps the dead rat. What if we can revive the dead rat with cheese? I feel like if I died and you brought a Whataburger next to me shortly after death, like, I might... There's a decent chance that I would, you know... Just come back to life like I had a soul stone. No cheese like dick cheese. So... I don't know. I don't know about that one. I'll take your word for it. I'm so old. I'm rocking out. Dead rat. There's been a murder. Get out of here. This is. Do none of them want the cheese? What the fuck? What kind of rats are these? Worst rats I've ever seen in my fucking life. Wait. 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 No, I think I know. There is that singular rat in the ice area, right? Maybe I can give him cheese. When I was experimenting by trying to suck my own dick, I did try dick cheese, and honestly, it ain't anything special. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Usually when... 
Dick Cheese is like Smegma, I thought. I didn't I don't know why we're conflating Dick Cheese with with semen. Because I thought I thought always that Dick Cheese was like not washing your wiener and you get some nasty fucking bullshit. I think that's why this is such a, a gross experience. Personal hygiene must be terrible for that to even appear. Imagine dick cheese would be special in a bad way. I'm feeling like I need an adult right now. And we need Misa to, to police this. Whataburgers. Whataburgers. How do you feel about cutting one's hands off as punishment? I think that's a little barbaric. Starting to remind me of the old days in chat? Yeah, a little bit. But that's okay. We're gonna get this rat of cheese delivery like nothing you've ever seen in your McFucking life. This is gonna be so sick. There's still that up there. Like, there's so much I don't know. Yes. Let's save this. I'm level 29. Let's do... Where is this rat? Oh my god, is it... Okay, here, 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 here. Please. He just teleports me. Okay. Then who would want cheese? Okay, the woman doesn't want cheese. Dude, I want cheese in real life, too. I'm hungry as hell. He's doing his crossword puzzle. I wonder what rat anus would smell like. That's a bizarre thing to be thinking about, I, I would say. I don't know if that thought has ever crossed my mind. Mm. What's up, Jumpus? What's going on with the UFO? That just takes you to the moors. Good morning, Mr. Chicken. What's up, dude? Huh. This is quite the fucking mystery. Do you want cheese? Do you want cheese? He's been waiting for his date for a long time. Hmm. I think we might be shit out of luck on this one. Kind of looks like a gnome. I'm surprised at how much Cool 109 doesn't actually enjoy getting pegged. Is I don't know why that's surprising. That globe, I'm really scared. I'm scared all the time. Me and the missus had an argument. Okay, okay. What if I don't talk to him with nothing on? Like, no effect on. Okay, so he does not want the cheese. Be an effect that wasn't used? I don't think so. Maybe the camera? I feel like I did the camera, though. Please stop filming. Yeah, he just... Yeah. 
Not sure what it is I'm missing. Obtained hospital. You see the wall over here, right? You see how that, that brick wall is like very slightly different? <laughs> I just now noticed that, dude. Okay. We can wear a mask now. Let's see what he has to say about it. You're making the face of someone who just ate a good meal. I wish I could say the same. What? What? Okay. Now I need to find out what to do with it. That's the problem. Like, that's... It's good, but... It's not enough to figure out the current thing that I'm stumped on. The hospital effect. We burn the hospital down? Jesus. So we have cheese and a hospital. What would I do with cheese in a hospital if I were in this situation, in this scenario, in, in the real world? There aren't that many people to talk about or talk to outside of this town. Can I call in sick out of work? Is that what happens? I show up and I'm like, boss, I'm sick. No. Damn, I'm feeling like like a brain dead. Is the store still closed? Yeah, I just checked it the last round. Call into work dead? Maybe if I talk to these schmucks. only beat me because the sun was in my eyes. Okay, yeah, these guys have nothing of note to say at all. We also still have a screwdriver. That's another fucking thing. Boss's car and chef's car. Got a lot of things I could use, but I'm just not sure where to use them at. Thank you, non-binary, for the 51 months. Can you take the camera into the mayor's office? I guess I could. I'd probably get into, like, a huge fist fight, which could be cool. I've always wanted to be beat up. Excuse me. I'm gonna, like, die on the way to Whataburger. I'm gonna be too tired. Yeah, it doesn't seem like anything's happening with this. There aren't that many... I don't know. There's not that many interactions that I've had with these the effects in regards to, like, NPC dialogue. There have been some... But not as many as you might expect. It's delicate, so use it carefully. I put something inside. Hee hee. Hey, Misa, pick up the Whataburger? No, she's... Misa strikes me as someone who drives way too fucking slow. I think that would be miserable. Thank you, Daniel is Beast, for the five-year resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Four eyes are better than one. Do you tell people that it's a speed limit, not a speed suggestion? Yeah, she has that energy, right? Like, you're driving with me, and it's like, um... It's actually, you're going 42 in the 40. You need to slow down. I can see it. Mises is probably also like, uh, remember remember when when you'd be driving with your mom and you'd break and she'd go, <gasps> like really loud and scare the shit out of you? Mises is going to be one of those people. 100. Leave Misa alone. You're right, I'm sorry. Weird remake of Petscop. No, it's its own thing, but it's pretty clearly inspired by Petscop. 
I go at least the speed limit, but more often. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm sorry. He's so old. What if I hospital him? Welcome to hospice, bitch. Hey, what do you mean? Oh. I think I see. Then there's the wife rat. This is a crime scene. There's been a murder. Yeah, this is, um... Where would I use a screwdriver? Where has that been? I feel like that's what I should be focusing on more than anything. Because that's what the guy gave me. Should I wait for the train? I'm not sure. Someone will go up your ass. Yeah, that's that's true. People get really fucking mad when you're driving uh, only 10 above the speed limit. Just make sure you're not in the left lane. On the highway, 65 means 80. Yeah, you got those assholes in the big old trucks, even when it's... Like, fucking three in the morning. They'll find you. They'll get right behind you. Be two other lanes they could go, but they just want to be right up your ass. Uh, thank you, Salvatore, for the 41 months. I appreciate it. How are you? Thank you, Mian, for the 37. 37 year old. 37 years old today. That's fucking... That's miserable. I don't believe you. You're like... You're like what? Strong enough to kick the train really hard in the shins. Good job. Yeah, I mean, the train just, like, moves me forward, but I don't... I wanted to ask about underlying problems. Have you had history with these issues? Oh, no. Okay, so... No, I know. I'm just being dumb, man. Hopefully you're doing all right. So, this is, like, a... Time is not going forward in a linear progression. You can end up in, like, back over here where it all reads the same and you go here. More like layers? Yeah. And now it's fucked because those two NPCs disappeared. So now I feel like... Wait, 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 wait. A duck has emerged from the hook -a duck It's raring for a fight. There's no way this can go tits up. 39? Oh my fucking god. You've got to be kidding me. How the fuck? 39? What a jump, dude. It's literally never worked in my favor just going to fight something. Not once. You have been killed by like every enemy in this game. This got ducked up. Yeah, I sure fucking did. But what about the screwdriver? Oh no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted either. My friend tried looking up your stream and I felt obligated to link him at your channel because of it. It's fucking over. Oh god, JFC, why? What if I'm a snowman for him? Does this change something? Sure doesn't. Do I have the fridge now? No, I still have the cheese. Okay, well let's keep walking in here. Maybe there's maybe there's more than just the rat. Share this stream with all my friends at work. That would explain a bit, maybe. What does one look up to find this stream? Uh, Dragon Slayer Fear and Hunger. 
I, that would probably be what I would pick. Fuck me. Do you think the colored houses have anything to do with any of it? Hold on. Actually... I can look through it with this one. There's a blood-soaked knife on the bedroom floor. Looks like Dork Rat is the killer. Hello, Jiggly. What's good? I have solved the murder mystery. Who do you suspect? Because that one guy, when we showed him this, he said it reminded him of the door that leads to the rats. So there was a hint that I just took too long to get it. Well, 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 let's have a look. Detective Rat produces an evidence bag containing the bloody knife. Anything you want to say, Dork Rat? Yeah, it was me. My bad. Dork Rat is taken away in a tiny police car. You solved the rat murder mystery. Fuck yeah. It's most definitely what's up. Thank you for solving my husband's murder. Now I can rest easy. I want to give you a reward. Take this. Cave key. Oh. Okay. That's big. That's huge. Cool rat removes her sunglasses to reveal she has no eyes. She pulls a solemn expression. I knew Dork Rat was the murderer the whole time, to be honest, but I wasn't going to say I've been a rat my whole life, but I've never been a snitch. That's fair. I can't believe Dork Rat was a murderer. I bet he used that hidden path by his house to help carry out his plots. What the fuck? See, I saw the corner of this. Sorry, no one gets through this door. Sniff, sniff. Is that cheese I smell? Hey. This is just between you and me, but maybe I'll let you through if you give me that cheese. I know cheese is more of a mouse thing, but I'm very interested in other cultures. Thanks. I like how he's guard rat corrupt. Um. I guarantee you, he moves to the space that I occupy, and I fucked it up by talking to him from here. I guarantee you that's what just happened. How do I restart this shit? Maybe if you- I can't move, I'm soft locked. I'm owned, I am a gay baby and I am in jail. Well, shit. Okay. Soft locked? Yeah, yeah. It's a shame it isn't bingo, right? He truly was corrupt. Are there any of us who aren't corrupt in some manner? Are any of you innocent? Are you, are you pure? Maybe he was sucking you off. You are horny tonight. What's gotten into you, dog? You need to fucking beat one out. You, Cool, and JFC need to go have, like, a gnome fucking J.O. triangle. I'm innocent. That's true. Only three people are pure of heart. See, I told you, dude. God damn it. Things will get pretty intense past here. Be careful. Not the wormhole! Shit! Worm has essays due. Hydrostatic skeletons turn me on. Worm looks like it has heart problems. Worm runs a fashion magazine. Get out of my face, punk. I'm so hungry, dog. Not in the mood to talk. Worm hopes to start a full-scale technological de-evolution soon. Worm has a lot to prove. I love none of them all fail. Uh-oh. You know, the tension of this is mitigated just a little bit by my stupid little buddy looking back at the camera, smiling at me, reassuring me that everything's going to be alright. 
It's like when you were a kid and you were scared at night, and for some reason you thought your stupid pet, like your little dog or your cat, would protect you from any invaders. Okay. Hello, Jamal. Today's recommendation is the Brothers of Destruction EP by the Lemon Twigs. I like to listen to that album while making dinner. The fade out on Country Pie is really weird and I love it. Tiger Milk. Richard Swift. Richard Swift, huh? Khaki's a really cool new band there. Undercurrent EP is also really good. You're My Lover Now. That's a really great modern rock record. Ball of the Dead Rat and It's Not Funny are two of my favorites, but all the songs are amazing. Okay. This feels like this is all probably real music. That's interesting to put in, but I don't know if I if I care all too much. It's real music, I'm pretty sure. That's not the one I wanted. I feel like there was something to do with this one. God, okay, um. Let's see. Night Song. Oh, okay. So we probably have to look at the list of songs over there, and that's the order. I still haven't found the 603 code, by the way, from like the very beginning of the game. Let me, let me screenshot these. My wonderful Meg Love fan art is going to have to be overwritten, which is regrettable. When's the Death Grips name drop? I, you remember that Critters for Sale game that had like the Death Grips guy as an actual character? What a fucking trip. Okay, well it makes sense that intro would be the first one. So let's find that. Yes. Okay, so intro and then... This should be the right combination. We WAN? The Golem run has permanently corrupted my mind, and now when I hear Dead Grips, I think of Morrowind. That's not a bad thing to think about. So there's a naked sex offender at the end of this tunnel. Wow, what a reward, as DSP would say. I am Meat Man, the most powerful guy ever want to fight. No. Muscle machine. Because he's naked, he's a sex offender? Yes. This is public property. So, do you think that if I went out naked right now, like just, you know, balls out, and the police found me, I wouldn't be a sex offender? I would for sure. They'd kill me. They'd chop me up into little itty bitty pieces and, and consume me whole. I want to see if I can beat this dude's ass. I am not at all confident. If your name was Meat Man, I think it'd be excusable. This is his house? No, it's not. It's the Worm's house. Police hate fighting naked people. Chances of just getting shot skyrocket. Cool. 
Can't shoot me if I'm naked. Alright, what level do you think this guy's gonna be? Let's see if anyone can guess right. Sixty-nine. I'm thinking thirty. Just a straight thirty. Level forty-nine. Demo's got it. You were level twenty-nine. I could not beat Meat Man. Oh, <laughs> goo! It's so sad. But we have that- oh. Okay. That's a- failed to load image titles devil.png. Um, okay, well I guess I gotta restart. It's a good thing we saved. There's another- we can go into that other area now. There was one more locked door in the moors and I think the cave key would most likely be for that and then we should be able to get through good night light 176 if you could have an infinite supply of any one food and you couldn't sell it for profit but you had to eat it what would you choose Pizza, spaghetti, steak, sushi, cereal? Why cereal? Tacos, mac and cheese, potatoes, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, crab meat, eel sushi, cheese, mixed vegetables. I want to say what up, but I feel like I have to choose a healthy option. No, that's for bitches. If sushi's a valid answer, then I would pick sushi. Mmm. Goddamn. What am I fucking doing? I'm actually on drugs. Fuck little Caesars. All my homes hate that stupid fuck Caesar. Getting the impression that you're really upset about this Little Caesars tragedy. I'm sorry, baby. You get it tomorrow, maybe. Little Caesars actually... We had, like, really nice food yesterday, so now I'm feeling Little Caesars. We gotta balance it out. You know? Hold on. I think D7 is where I need to be headed. Subway near me has a foot-long cookie that I feel I need to try. Do it. That sounds great. Mm. I need to put the mic right up to my tummy so you can hear it grumble. Okay. So this complicates things a little bit. Because we have the cave key. There is a house here that does not need this key. I'm trying to think if I have seen a cave anywhere. It must be something in the, uh, in the city. Like the apartment building that's locked. Footlong pretzel? Footlong pretzel sounds bitchin'. Fuck. Oh, man. I think I'm gonna explode. Ever sit under the scalding water in the shower and then scrape the loose skin off of yourself? No. I don't really have loose skin. I don't get that a lot, unless I'm sunburnt. I have very nice, taut skin. Okay, I'm confident I know what this opens. 
there's only one thing that makes sense, and it's got to be apartment door number three. Like when you scrape your nails and some skin sludge comes off. Nobody's home. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. Who could have seen this one coming? Cave key. Cave key. Cave key. Where's the cave at, player? I, I guess so. Goodbye. So that was an ending? I mean, obviously that's not a, like a good or real ending. Fuck. how you ended it i went home like i clocked out of work and i went home maybe the most exciting ending imaginable didn't we get to beat meat man no we sure didn't i'm trying to find like oh, i can't beat meat man not until I find more shit. There's way more stuff I need to find. If you can go all the way to, like, level 49. But I need to find the keys. I need to find what I use these items for. It's a never-ending nightmare of rats. No call your effects? I believe so. Yep. I haven't gotten an effect in a long time. Okay. I need to find something I can unscrew or a cave or something of that sort. It could be, like, another fucked up hidden area. Like this one. Oh, I guess I didn't get, like, I didn't ever, uh, right. Level 30. Wow. Truly amazing. Okie dokie. Daring competition. Walls are lined. Oldest photos of relatives that look at to have been taken with modern cameras. I feel as if we're going to need to, like, interact with absolutely everything at this point to make progress. It's going to be one of those sorts of situations. One game this actually reminds me of is Buddy Simulator. It's like a Yumi Nikki Petscop crossover for me. Those are, those are both really cool. Just gotta figure shit out. Locked. Why are you still here? Brand new chair. Needs watering. Bad taste. Karate classes. Are you sick of getting kicked in the face? And also punch in the face. You want to be tough. Local legend. Sensei Jonathan is hosting karate classes every Sunday. We meet at the Vomit Gym. Come down and get your first session for free. At the bottom is a picture of a man kicking over a stack of energy drinks. Were you bullied in school? Yeah. What's up? Huh? What'd you say? Can you pop my Sure. Oh. You don't have to. You don't have to. 
<laughs> no, I just, I don't, I can barely feel my limbs. What do you mean? Uh, I don't know. I, I'm very fatigued. I don't feel like I can move. Oh. I'll do it. I'll do it. All right, listen for this. You want to hear what happens when you, when you talk shit about me? Feel a bit better? Yes, thank you. That's good. Okay. Right. I have to go to bed. I'm exhausted. Alrighty. Love you. You too. Luxuriate alongside the famous Vomit River aboard a beautiful wartime steam train. To book a trip, please visit Vomit Steam Railway online at our website or call us at the number below. Can I fucking do that if I have the phone? Doesn't look like it. God damn it. There's farming fun for everyone at Copper Puddle Farm. This, this spring, visitors can enjoy our brand new goat zone. Walk with the goats. Feed the goats. Copper Puddle is open seven days a week. We look forward to your visit. Red... The Sester world has landed. I do not know how to pronounce that word. Now accepting bookings, a perfect local attraction for young families. Over three rides, cows and ducks to feed. 30 minute drive from vomit. Please book tickets in advance on our website below. I am. How do I get these people to talk to me? Shit post, but thanks. You're the shit too. You guys are being weird right now. Hold up. What if we? There's got to be some bullshit going on here. Centrist plant. What the fuck is a centrist plant? You can't even have those plants without being a centrist piece of shit now. God damn it. Hello, crumbly bits. Wait, could I be the hot date? What if... I already have this. Maybe if I'm a certain... Maybe not. It's weird. Why is someone telling me nice things? I am making a remarkable amount of progress in this video game adventure. Think you'll ever play Signalis? I already did. I missed the isopod. I hope he's okay. Who do you think's gonna win the Russian election this year? Probably Barack Obama, if I really had to go out on a limb. Uh, yeah. I believe I have, Bruneearth. Uh, let me see. That's what I had on initially. Voting for Monkey? Fuck Monkey. Monkey's such a piece of shit. Hey, Tolo, big fan. Have you heard of Northern Journey? No, can you give me a brief synopsis about it? It sounds interesting. Fuck you, monkey. No, monkey is not epic. You're trolling. I want to... I want to go into the hole. Please. Could I, like, turn into a box and get over there? Why do you hate everyone? I, I don't! Gamoth? He I like Gamoth. He's just fucking boring after you fight him the first time. He's just not a very fun fight to repeat over and over. Gamoth is fine. There's nothing wrong with him. He's a cool woolly mammoth. Conspicuous. 
Genu yeah, no, there's like a, a meme where I play like I play games like years before the, 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 the good YouTubers or whatever get to them. So it's like last year I was having a lot of people say, oh, there's this new game you should check out, Fear and Hunger. And I played that in like 2019 and it's just, it's a dumb meme. -y. You know, this the meme is more or less, if you want to know what respectable people are going to be streaming in a year or longer, you you can often get a glimpse by coming here. But I played all of Northern Journey and it was really good. I enjoyed that one a lot. Chair is sticky. I would be fucking pissed if I had to sit in a sticky chair. Be absolutely fucking livid. Still haven't seen them play Cattle Castle yet? Yeah. There's this new schizo game called First Land. You might like it, maybe. I'm pretty stumped right now on this. Hopefully First Land catches on. I really... I don't know, man. Um, that one would be really hard because there's not documentation on it and it is... I don't mean to sound like an asshole, but I don't think most people are going to be willing to put in the time to figure that game out. I think they could if they tried, but like, it's just too niche. Two heads. When did you become a femboy? Oh, I can change it. Will. So, cave key. Always cold to the touch. Screwdriver. Where can this be used? Oh my god. You open the radio and secure some loose parts. It's now working again. The screwdriver breaks. Thanks for fixing the radio. Here's a reward I found. A more key. Okay. It really was just interacting with absolutely everything. I was thinking like, hey, we probably need to look for a grate. Or, or something like that. Okay, but at least we got it. We can get to that other thing now. Often break my screwdrivers after unscrewing one screw. Yeah. Yeah, it's a common problem. I kind of want to play, I want to hug that gator, see what happens, do it, yeah. I... I wanted to like that, but it was just too slow. It was too meandering, it took too long to get to the point. Like, I guess I'm like a TikTok ADHD fuck. But I feel like we played that for like three to four hours and barely anything happened. It was like three to four hours to get to a point where we like, talk to the crocodile. Or the gator. So, how many how many more hours would it be until we get a kiss or a hug or something more? What would our children look like if like a bald man and a crocodile reproduce? What do you think that would look like? Maybe that one crocodile from Sonic Heroes. What's in here? I think this is the third and final main area we needed to unlock. I think. Oh! That was a comforting noise. Fucking hot again? Love that? No, dude. Fuck it. I want it to be cold, pop it up. Stop dancing over the heat. Oh, this is a strange looking area, but I think I recognize this place. Okay. We need to go over here. Nothing? Okay. Would you like to be Daddy Long Legs? Yes. This feels like if you've ever seen the Godzilla NES creepypasta and there's the quiz segments where it's like, does your dog like the president? Kind of questions. Okay, we got a trampoline. That's what this shit reminds me of in a big way. Are you playing Minecraft? Yeah, I guess we are. 
I've got a, uh, I finally have a second trampoline, thank Christ. Seems like a smaller area than the other two, but I guess the ice cream, not the ice cream. Wait, okay, chat, chocolate flavor hour, strawberry flavor hour, or vanilla flavor hour? I'm a vanilla gorilla, personally, in more ways than one. I love my vanilla. Ideally, it would be coconut, but out of these, vanilla. What's this game about? That's a good fucking question. It's strange. Good night, Chernabrog. Your choice of ice cream causes Chucko to look visibly upset. It seems he'll only make you an ice cream. But his thing is vanilla, is it not? I only serve women. I'm interested in dating. Please come back. He called me a woman for strawberry. What? I don't want ice cream. Have a good day. But... Wait, hold on. What if I... Va va boom! French made. Your ice cream will write with you. Obtained ice cream. Okay, yeah. We had to seduce him. We needed to use the Tolomeo ability number 17. Seduction. Chocolate fudge ice cream is base, but if I had to pick one, it's vanilla. Yeah, I like fudge too. Um, my mom used to make this like vanilla ice cream with hot fudge poured over it. That was so fucking good, dude. Oh my god. I need to, like, get stuff to make that again. Amazing rat trick number 15. So how would I describe this game? It seems to be, you know, of, of course, about someone struggling with their gender identity. Uh, that seems like what it's really about. But ostensibly, you're in this town called Vomit with a bunch of confusing shit happening, Ace. Flying alien saucer crashes into the town and takes you to these weird ass places and you do you have like these little soft puzzles where you have to find out like turning into a French maid to get this guy to give you ice cream and figuring out ways to progress and get to new areas. It's harder than it sounds, at least for me. Oh fuck. Um 603. That 603 was a password I got in like the first five minutes of gameplay. And it was just now used at this part where we are now like three hours plus into it. To give you an idea of what the progression of this is like. Oh no, why the fuck am I over here? I don't want to be here. Fairy lights on a the tree are connected to a little plastic box. The box allows you to program me the Kalowers of the Light. Oh, um. Fuck. It's a color puzzle, but... Red, yellow, green, yellow. Oh my god, have we seen... I completely brute force that. You wince your eyes to blur the lights. You're filled with a warmth... I just completely guessed I had no actual, uh, like, that's like when we fucking brute force the rat sector door. Hello, Splitten. Obtain tablets. Take two daily. Oh, I'm a sad girl now. I was hoping I would turn into a rat. You gotta say you intentionally... No, there are some times where I, I... My schizophrenic thinking... Ends up producing results. But that was 100% blind luck. There's no ifs, ands, or a boots. I need to find the cow thing now. I also... You know, it's not really related to anything, but out of all of the rides I have been on, roller coasters, like Towers of Terror, any of those, the worst will always be the teacups. I fucking hate the teacups so goddamn much. I think they are the most, the singular most infernal, like, amusement park ride ever devised. 
they make me want to fucking throw up so bad. Hold on. So was the key to this looking at the trees in the order? Oh no. Oh no. Is this going to be like later on we repair the piano and it plays the notes in a certain way and we have to replicate it with the trees sort of situation? Something appeared nearby. Okay, no, it was just as simple as turning them all on. I'm not sure what has appeared nearby, but... My wife and I went to Disney and she spun me on the teacup ride so badly that it... Yeah, it's fucked. It's the worst one, dude. Especially if you're married and you, you have a wife who was willing to, like, send you into that sort of, uh... That sort of tribulation. Just, like, less and less the idea of going to theme parks. I don't really like them either. Like, I would go... Someone around me wanted to go, but I don't really... For me, it's just that the lines are so fucking long. Like, I can't... I have... I have this thing where I can walk for a long period of time, and my back will hurt, but it's manageable. But if I'm standing there in a queue for hours, I want to cry. I cannot fucking do it. It is one of the worst pains, and it is... I always feel like dying after going to one of those places. 35. Anyone behind me will get showered with vomit if I'm on a roller coaster. What? How do I fucking do this? You use the arrow keys. I am not sure what to do with that. That is perhaps my least favorite type of puzzle ever. There is something down there. Do you see that? There's something mysterious happening. If I have to, like, know how to play, like, notes with just the fucking uh, arrow keys, it's going to be really difficult for me to solve that one on my own. The windows are frosted. You can't see inside. What did this say? Trampoline drop-off point. Oh. I need to find that creature. But now, you know, okay. I do have ice cream. I need to start thinking about who I could give that ice cream to. Me? You want strawberry ice cream? I don't know about strawberry. For me, if it's like a popsicle made with real strawberry, I would like it a lot. But if it's artificially flavored strawberry ice cream, I would want to... I would want to, uh... Well. Holy shit, what is this? Wait. Okay. There's more going on in here than initially expected. The glowing light beneath your feet would almost make you feel festive if there weren't so many people looking at you. Start here. Is this something that I could change? Maybe if I use face paint. Maybe if... 
I was at the hospital feeling faint. Red. Oh, is this just going to be red, green, yellow, red. Okay, so that's for the um, the Christmas tree puzzle that I brute forced like an idiot. Wonderful. This is what I interacted with at first, I'm pretty sure. I need to go back and see that strange little creature down around this way. You feel like touching the trash could start a fight. All right, chat, do you think I am about to get my ass whooped? Or do you think we're finally gonna win a fight? I think this time for sure we're going to win. Level 24, I'm level 35. I was strong enough to beat the trash. Amazing. Okay, now I guess we're... I felt embarrassed today when Maddie had to lift the boxes that were too heavy for me. Maybe I'll get strong like him working at the post office. Dusty microwave. I want to start eating healthy. Miss having a dishwasher. I didn't like having mom help me move and she had to get the train back home since I'm keeping dad's car. I called her on the phone that night to make sure she got home safe. Been calling her every day since. Maddie's been showing up to work late over the past few days. He told me he's moving house two at the moment, but just to a bigger place on the other side of town. He said his kids are excited to not have to share a room anymore. Relatable. I think a lot of us have been there. Okay. You're thinking about... <sighs> I'm not thinking about anything right now, but I guess... I'm thinking about sorry. I am not thinking about Vetus Farm Pig. Come on, dude. Get a grip. I really seriously think that I'm just pretending to be a normal good person. I called mom when Maddie got fired and I was crying, but I think I was actually pretending to feel sorry for him so that it would seem like I am nice. Back in school, some people treated me like I was really sweet and naive, but I wasn't. I was pretending to be those things. I just really, really don't understand why they're all still nice to me. Looks uncomfortable. I had a pretty good night. My friends from work invited me out. We went to a pub in the evening and it felt so festive. There was tinsel and fairy lights and Christmas music. Everybody was so happy. It was really nice. Gonna go home? No, don't, 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 don't time farm pig out. Damn. Kid pro quo hears Vetus and like the gets uh starts seeing red. Damn, okay, there's something there. We need to we need to unpack this. Mobile figure slipped? Alright, I got you. I was just gonna go home for the holidays, but I decided to stay here and work instead. I didn't I don't want to see anyone at home. I used to love wearing Christmas jumpers, but I feel wrong about wearing loud clothes now. <laughs> Excuse me. You dig your nails in and yank it out. Tub fills with water. The tub is now full of water. The room has her smell. You feel lightheaded. Okay, so the three smells we've had are her, um, I think a hospital, and blood, if I'm remembering right. This evil fucking duck is trying to prevent me from burnt. Okay, not hospital, burnt. Blood, burnt, and her. Like herder bloodborn, like bloodborn too. I don't fucking know. Let's see if we can find this ice creams. Uh, wait. Shit. Chips ahoy, but it's actually not bad. So we need to get there, but this duck is gonna prevent us from. Uh, Getting to the end. 34, 39. I'm not sure, but he's higher than I am now. I think. Thank you, kid, for gifting a sub to Farm Pig. I appreciate it. Good night, Bunyet. He was 39. And had chips ahoy and fucking forever. 
Pretty goddamn good. I like the EL fudge, like, uh, elf fudge cookies. Those are probably my favorite, like, dog shit tier cookie. This guy's talking about the sun in his eyes when it's, like, raining outside. What a bitch. Okay. Ice cream. We need to find someone to give this ice cream to. That is priority number one. I made double chocolate shortbread cookies today. Sounds good. If I had to grab cookies, it'd be Oreos, but I can't hold myself back. I don't like Oreos that much. But I'm also, like... I think that Oreos are proof that I'm brain damaged because my favorite way of eating the Oreos is I get the Oreo, I open it, and I lick the cream out and then eat the cookie. I think I might be the only person who does that. I don't know why. Like, I also, with saltines, I lick the salt off and then eat the cracker. like to order something. Okay, we can finally call the last person. Recon, if you had fried Oreos, you need to come to the Texas State Fair. My sister got those last time. I don't know, man. Oh, shit. Oreo, understandable. Salty, not so much. Made fried Oreos before, were they good? I'm ordering so much bullshit, yes. Lunch sounds good, I'll see you in a bit. Before long, Kick arrives and makes his order. Food and drinks arrive, Kick sips a latte. You know, I'm pretty sure I actually saw the flying saucer a few times before. Early in the morning, up above the town center. Didn't say anything, so I didn't want to sound crazy. Ha ha! Womp womp, back to work, see you later. This is actually kind of making me want Oreos, I'm not gonna lie. I've been wanting to go to... Winco, because they're open 24-7. I thought about going there tonight, because I haven't been, and I want to go and, like, get some fucking actual stuff every once in a while but I'm never awake it's never convenient to do it during the day like either Autumn's at work and has my car or I you know I have to do something else so I have not had the chance this is apparently not the hot date Cook stuff like potato wedges? Yeah, but at like 4 in the morning? It's like better Walmart? Yeah, I've only heard good things about Winco. It's just a matter of getting my ass over there, right? I would actually be astonished if they were selling like deli items 4 in the morning at Winco or anywhere. Okay, what do you have to say about this one? Oh, that look in your eyes, it makes me think of an unsettling place. I can see the two different exits to that place. That's all. Okay, let's think about that. An unsettling place that there are two different exits to. Hello, Chicken Kite Show. So, if you haven't been following too closely, whenever you get an effect and you can uh, change into something, you use it with this guy and he kind of gives you a clue. What immediately springs to mind is the place with, like, all of the doors where there's two points you can jump off of. But there's a few places that could be described as unsettling with two exits. Seems like none of these people are interested in the ice cream. Hmm. Hold on. 
the crossword puzzle. Is there a way I could like... Get his attention at all? anything other than deli meat after working in one so long back in the day i i really have a soft spot for the walmart chicken tenders and potato wedges i know it's probably like human chicken and it's not good but it is like it's so fucking good especially the potato wedges guess i'm going to bed well, good night cat chat made costume we've already used that though i feel like it would have to be something different Chicken? Yeah. Talking lunch meat? I got gotcha. you. I am so hungry. I know I've said that about a million times and it must be getting really irritating. I apologize. Hmm. See, this seems like uh, it's the same sort of aesthetic. Fasting? No, I my my wife just had the car all day basically. Um, my sister, I don't know where my sister is, so I couldn't ask her to help me get some stuff. So I've just been kind of marooned today. I feel as if there has to be more going on here. Thank you, Dalo, for the 80-month resub. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. It's getting, uh... Getting a little sticky finding out the last few things I need. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing all right. I'm just hungry. How are you? Something about a peer a while ago? He did... But I don't remember which one that was. So you could just... I don't even know what the snowman is supposed to be indicative of. Okay, okay. Ah! Uh... What if you have to wait here for a boat, like you did with the train? That would be kind of sinister, devious. Aside from the whatchamafucket, the weird ass icon on the left side, I'm not sure what to do. It must be the piano. So our leads right now, the ice cream, the cave key, and the piano. Wait, hold on. I think I might... Oh, shit, I shouldn't have gone this way. I have an idea. It's not an amazing idea. It's not, it's not concrete. But, it could be the fucking worms. Golden Chick to see when the one near me was opening, and is Golden Chick coming to Shreveport? I wouldn't trust anything at Shreveport. I, I haven't been to too many places, but Shreveport is my least favorite. You would have to pay me to go to that hellhole. I remember the last time I drove through it, it was when we were driving Autumn from Florida to Texas, and there's so many, like, weird-ass religious billboards where it's like, Jesus is coming, are you ready? And it felt like 
if I was JFC, I would get like a little excited reading that sign. It's a bizarre fucking place. I don't really like Louisiana that much, to tell you the truth, but I haven't been to too many parts of it. Midwest Core? Maybe, um... New Orleans. I could, I could see going there, but I also... It's violent as hell, and I think I would probably piss someone off and get shot. We have a hell is real and a commandment sign over here. Nice. Okay, are any of you hungry? The old rat doesn't appear to be hungry. Yes, they could eat. Oh, I respect that, but I was I was more referencing these kind gentlemen over here. This worm is actually kind of trendy. Is that an ice cream sticking out of your bag? I haven't had an ice cream in years. Nobody sells them down here. Yes. Good. Now we have another key where I have no fucking idea. It says it opens a door. <coughs> so maybe back on the surface, one of those locked doors I can get through. Wish my worm was trendy. No, you don't, dude. You know whose worm was trendy once upon a time? pro Jared's and it wasn't trendy for any good reason you need to be careful what you wish for you pictures of you and like a Sailor Moon costume are gonna be leaked does that sound like an ideal situation to you I would like that it's a name I haven't heard in years yeah bringing that one out of the memory bank I thought you were gonna say John Bobbitt. I don't even know who that is. Like, is he the dude who named the Bobbit worm? Those things are fucked up. I'm not a fan of Bobbit worms. Use the mystery key to unlock the door. Obtained Moby. This one's very. I'm just. I got bees on my face. We might be able, I'm hoping, this is, this is... <sighs> Dick cut off, but reattached. Oh, okay. Level 43. We, we can beat the duck now. We can fuck a duck. I'm so, dude, like, I'm fucking... I'm pitching a tent. Cock got cut off by his wife in the 90s and got surgically reattached. Then he was in a porno. Well. That's good. You were strong enough to destroy the duck. Good job. The hook a duck is drained. You won't be able to leave once you've entered. Well, okay. That sounds like an ending, but we still have man meat to take care of. Combat in this game is next level. It truly is. It's remarkable in more ways than one. I kind of like it, though. I'm glad it's not like, a, oh, we're just going to half-assed uh, RPG maker combat where the enemy has like 50,000 HP. Do like 200 damage a swing. And there's no threat of dying. It just takes forever. Hey, buddy, how do you like my bees? That look in your eyes are like black holes. Oh. It's a fucked up thing to say. So, if this hive is called a Moby... Maybe in this universe, Moby Dick has a different meaning. How much would it cost for you to fuck a beehive? For 10 minutes.
What's your price? Bees in the hive still? Yeah, of course. That wouldn't make any sense if they weren't. Are they sedated? No, they will be stinging your wiener the entire way through. You have a beehive? No, I do. We killed the duck, but now I'm kind of lost again because I need to find the cave. The cave is like the last thing, I think. I'm level 43. The only enemy stronger than me is man meat. I killed the duck and I can go down there, but it says it's a point of no return. It's gotta be the fucking piano, right? It has to be. you do I mean you it, it, you would just be stuck for 10 minutes it's not the end of the world right understand the point of the trampolines, but they just kind of seem redundant for the most part. Is there a cave in the gridded area? I don't think so. There could be. I think that's like the logical conclusion is there has to be something out in that grid area that I have not found. I might just have to search for it. The only other thing I can think of... would be the piano and whatever the fuck that is. There is some sort of unfortunate structure over there that looks very, very important, but I have no... It has to be the piano. monkey doing the typewriter thing, right? Okay, so... Is there something will be useful later? Wait. I don't... I still don't think that I have managed to get anything with the snowman, and it says it'll be useful later, and the piano also said, come back later. So that's weird to me. But I don't know if there's anything to be done with it. Okay. I guess now I can search the, the overworld a little bit, see if I can't find anything there. Even if we don't find it, it seems like we're going to be able to go into that duck pit. So we're not necessarily stuck. There's a clear way forward, but and I think it's probably side stuff now that I'm mostly going for. Must be an arrow key? Yeah, yeah, there has to be. I'm just not sure where I would find it. Okay. So. I guess we are, uh. We're gonna look and see if we can't find anything suspicious out here. How far does it go? We're gonna have to go and like, this is gonna take forever and I apologize in advance. But we're gonna have to really rove and see if we can, oh, okay. It seems like it stops at eight. It's fine, we're here for it. No, no, this is G9. Goes up to nine. 
I think the cave is a reference to Plato's The Cave. I sure fucking hope not. And it loops. Okay. So if you keep going past nine, you get sent to one. I am in. Nowhere important. What's happening with this? It's a huge ass grid. There's sometimes when you take one of these effects and talk to a guy, he gives you a coordinate and you're able to find things out here. But I have a cave key. No idea what the fuck the cave key is for. I have not found a cave. And logically, I feel like this would be where it is. I got sent all the way back. But I think I'm just going to go down with the duck for now. Maybe it says you can't go back, but maybe there will be information there that will be helpful. It takes about five minutes to climb all the way down. At the bottom is a drain beneath your feet and a door in front of you. You grab a hold of the doorknob. It's freezing cold to the touch. Opening the door... You feel your body temperature drop to an almost numbness. You can't see an inch in front of you. You feel the blood rush to your head. We were in bed together and she asked what I'm frightened of. I said I'm scared of plane crashes. I said I'm scared of seeing things I shouldn't. I'm scared of her laughing about me with her friends. I'm scared of our bodies. I'm scared of my brother. And she said, I think you're stupid. I think you're far more frightening than any of those things. Wow. Holy fuck. I think everyone knows about Brady. I think I know who's been telling everyone. Feels like you've invalidated all of your happy memories and you were so frightened of everybody leaving you that you blocked them out of your life before they ever even had a chance to dislike you. Think it might just be... I might just be stuck being the kind of person that we both hate very much. Might be time to try getting some higher intensity help. A panic attack at work. Okay. You wouldn't want to see anybody like this. Am I going to kill myself now? Not now. Oh. I think I know where to go. Damn it. Police tape blocks the way. There's something in there. In that little pit. Looks like something big is buried in the flower bed. Dig? Yes. The dirt is damp and easy to dig, even with your bare hands. You dig up a safe. Mud has culminated under your fingernails from all the digging. Ah, uh, What? I don't know if I have any more codes. I can't recall any, at least. Okay, 518. It's literally on the bulletin board. Uh, yes, Crow, it's a secret. I found something there earlier. Safe clicks open. A pair of scissors. I think I know what to do with these. That was the thing. Yes, that was the thing on the side of that one area. The thing, yeah, yeah. I know I'm not being the most descriptive. There was a, uh, a statue of some weird shit in uh, another area, in an inaccessible part of the level. So it's not just like a random nothing. It's there for a reason, for sure.
What the fuck is that? You're uncertain at first, but you soon realize that it's me you're looking at. I apologize for staying here so long. Things haven't gone as planned for me, but you've taught me a lot during my prolonged stay. I think I've learned what a weak person can be. I think I've learned that sometimes people become bad, and once they've crossed that line, there's nothing they can do to change that. I don't know what you're supposed to do after that. I suppose you'll get what's coming to you, won't you? I don't think I know what I'm saying. If it's all right, I'd like to ask for a fave hour. I'm completely stuck here unless I'm given a pretty big amount of power. They'll destroy me if I don't leave. Okay. Feel a headache settle in, your teeth begin to chatter, and you feel sick to your stomach. I've received your power. Thank you so much. I'm going far away now, Jamal. Thank you for everything you did today. Goodbye. What? The UFO is gone. Where did you come from? What is this? I think I'm getting sick. Yeah, you look like it. You should take a day off work. Take care. So we're... So was... I guess the UFO's not there anymore, so we're probably not going to be able to get back to the... The fucked up parts of the game, right? I mean, I'm gonna try regardless. Has stopped working. Okay, yeah, yeah. Good morning, Scully. Is it true you went inside the flying saucer? Yes. I need a job like yours, so dismal sitting here all day, I think I'm going to die. Hello, Jamal, how are you? I got an email saying a package was delivered to my house. Was it you who delivered it? Yes. Sorry about the state of the house. Every day, husband says he'll get the place organized, but he never actually does anything. Ha ha. He's doing a bit better now than before, though. Got depressing there for a bit. I have a feeling the most depressing is yet to come, so don't worry. Thank you, Yopi, for the 25 months. I, I do kind of smell good right now. I've got my deep cedar woods candle right next to me. I'm basking in a wood-like smell. Oh, what the fuck? Camera battles? Need to check out from work before sorting dinner out. Wait. Romeo, I think you've been stood up. I think she's just late. Haha, -ha, I'll stay a bit longer. Hearing some really loud noises from Grease Girl's cave. I hope she's tidying up and not making the mess worse. Okay. Have you ever played any creepy pasta games on stream? Yes. Probably several hundred at this point, I would say. About 50 of them being SpongeBob. Boss smokes a cigarette with one hand and buries the other in his jacket pocket. All done, Jamal. Check out nice and quick so I can lock up. Me and the wife are going out for dinner tonight. I'm picking her up from work. I'd rather eat at home, to be honest, but whatever makes her happy. Moralland is a creepy pasta about furries. I don't think that's true. that it? I know that's a different ending I can get, but I don't know if that's what I was supposed to do. I think I'm reasonably satisfied with that. I'm a little... I do want to know where that fucking cave is, but I feel like, uh... Our... No, we are absolutely missing stuff. I just don't know if it's gonna result in any sort of new epic ending need to figure out the piano need to figure out uh the 
cave key. Another stream or maybe maybe or later on off stream. Another stream maybe or later on off stream. Weird statue on the side. Well, I think that's directly related to the piano because it's right next to it. Shit. I'm trying to think. I feel like it has to be the piano. But I don't know if I've seen any inclination as to what the... I mean, maybe the trees, maybe the Christmas trees, they do have like these little notes. But why? Like, that's the only thing that's had any sort of like musical element to it as far as I'm aware. It would have to be that, and I think there were seven trees, so that would be like seven notes. This is gonna bother me. I know this is gonna fucking bother me. God damn it. But I also don't want to just sit here and like stream more of it and just make zero fucking progress. So real winners quit in situations like this. Because I am not confident in my ability to figure the rest of this out. Especially if it's a music puzzle. But I really want to fucking find out. Are ye a real winner? I guess it depends on who you ask. That is not what I wanted to do. I loaded the wrong save. It was a couple slots up. I haven't been saving in the same slot. I've been making backups. Cave key, cold to the touch. Does that mean anything to me? Both the snowman and the piano mentioned about something being usable later. So I think the snowman effect has something to do with it. Hold on. What if... Oh no. This should be the right one. Okay. So, assuming that's a link, maybe if you try to interact with the trees with the snowman head, it, it'll give you, like, a... some sort of a... Of nudge in the right direction. But I don't know if I can do it again. No, I can't interact with these again whatsoever. And then there's Santa. It could just be some fuck off locale. God knows where. Wait. Fish? You part we wait, it's a beaver! Ricardo has secured about a week's worth of dinner. Check it out. Gives you a music disc. I saw a ghost on the beach. Did he show up because I had the snowman? I have absolutely been here before. Like, several fucking times. Okay. I think maybe if we go to that music store and give that to the guy... It could work. That's... Unless we're supposed to take the, the name literally. And look for... I don't know if there's anything that I've seen that could be described as a beach, though, is the thing. Wait, was it... I saw a ghost on the beach? Time to sit on the bench or that? Yeah, we could... It could be either or. There is a thing that makes you want to... The, the problem is, like, if it's something where I have to listen... Oh, I don't know. We just gotta- we gotta play it out. We gotta see. 
because when you operate the piano, you use the arrow keys. So, like, up, left, right, down. It's not like A, B, C, D, like, musical notes. So maybe it's a, I saw a ghost on the beach. Right as she looked at me, she left me. And then left me speechless. And like some stupid ass shit where you have to do the right, left, up, down by the lyrics of the song sort of thing. But I have no fucking clue. We just, we gotta see what's going on with it. Hey, asshole. Okay, so he doesn't seem like he's, uh... Interested in... Wait. Obtained a good thing about broken glass? Oh my god. How deep does this shit go? Did you guys see that when I was going down here? Now you have two? Yeah, I sure fucking do. Then that means there could be even more discs to find, and I'm being fed false hope. Let me go over and check man meat really quickly. Muscle machine. But why? I kind of look like an Amish almost, don't I? Some sort of weird, fucked up looking freak. I wish this game started twice as cryptic. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I was feeling it at the start because it was very verbose with all of the dialogue. But it ended up being a worthwhile play. It just took a little bit to get to kick into gear. Maybe you look Jewish instead? Maybe. We can listen to the music here. So there's two discs we're missing. We have one and we have four. Fuck were the other two? Sorry I'm not talking much. I'm trying to listen to see if there's clues. It's the only inclination I have right now. The cave must be in that fucking plane. We got the cave key 
really early on, relatively speaking. And it's weird that that would be such a difficult thing to find. Cave probably has the disc two and three. But where? It's a fucking mystery, bros. I'm not sure if these are gonna provide us with any clues. Can you believe you've been streaming for six years? Yeah. Didn't expect a whole ass song. Yeah, I'm not surprised with the music store thing. It's been a long time. kind of music but this is really nice it's not my cup of tea either but I respect it there's no way they would put a song that's like a 30 minute uh, single where you have to listen to all of it to trigger something in the game to cause an event to happen, right? Music's pretty right up my alley. My kind of music is like... Um, I ain't trying to fuck your man. Everybody know he my number one fan. I've done been there, done that bitch, and you want to get mad, bitch, I don't give a damn. Sort of music. I listen to all sorts of shit. Um, I know you like Slipknot. I also like Slipknot, but I've only really listened to the subliminal verses. It's uh, like nostalgic teenage music for me. I like that a lot. Um, I like. I non-ironically like a lot of pop stuff. The only genre I would say that I just never fucking listen to at all is country. I'm not a country fan whatsoever. Like video game music, like a virgin. Um, like the shit that's played on the radio. Like the edgy, like Avenged Sevenfold Slipknot stuff. Listen exclusively to Harsh Noise by Merzbell. I like uh, German Schlager music. That's probably one of the weirder things I listen to. Um, yeah. I just like a lot of different stuff. It's like video games, right? Like, what video games would you say I listen to? It's, uh... It's hard to really, like, boil it down. Linkin Park? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found out that there was a conspiracy that, like, uh... Chester Bennington didn't kill himself. That he was actually, uh, Podesta's son, and they were in, like, this... He was, like, with Avicii. Avicii, I don't know how to pronounce his name, and a couple other people were, like, in this group trying to take down the Hollywood pedophile elite, and they were, quote-unquote, suicided, and they don't believe any of them killed themselves. Which is... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mad disrespectful. Uh, to put it lightly... Hello, Hubert. That's... Yeah, yeah. Sounds like a conspiracy. It's really weird shit. It's very strange. Short-lived flower bed. 
Hope someone makes a sick conspiracy of me when I die. My conspiracy is that you were straight all along. Maybe F8 in that realm. Maybe I have to have this hat on specifically. I am struggling really hard to get the last bits of wine out of this stone. What if I was straight, but as a hot redhead babe with a virgin pussy? Uh. I don't know, JFC. What if you were actually the reincarnation of God? It's about, uh... About a, an equal level of ridiculousness. Nubile, red-headed JFC. Yeah, America. JFC's, despite living in Mexico, is actually America from Fallout the Frontier. I mean, I could... I could yeah, that sounds kind of fucking cool. You gotta wonder, a lot of these effects have had no apparent purpose, so I must be missing a lot. I'm never going to die, this world deserves me. I guess that's a... Uh good way of looking at things. Would you still watch Tolomeo stream if he was a worm? I don't think they would. I was hoping maybe if you came here with the snowman hat on, something different would happen. The tough part is even if you're gonna like brute force manually search all of this, it's not a small enough area to just wander in and immediately get, uh, like, a conclusive answer whether or not there's shit that you can interact with. You have to kind of bumble around in the darkness. Hmm. Where the fuck is the cave? Why would the rats do this to me? Why would they give me a key to a cave that isn't fucking real? I'm gonna genocide all rats. I don't think we're finding it, brothers. Believe it's real. It probably is. Like it. No, it is. But where the fuck, right? I thank you, Acro, for the fifty-three months. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, dude. There's gotta be something in layer A. There has to be, right? Right? Maybe? Possibly? I think I gotta uh, accept that we're not- we're not getting too much further into this for now. I have a strong craving for a, a cornucopious amount of meat. I think, uh, the Whataburger is singing at Siren What a Pussy Call to Me. I don't know what kind of red-blooded man could ignore it. Thinking about those burgers. Come back to this later? Well, I mean, I think we got the ending. I don't know. Uh-oh, I fucked up. Like, realistically, I don't know how much more there is to do. So, probably not. Um, We'll see. Alrighty, dogs. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good weekend. I am going to go get some food. Later, dudes.